I can't believe it. It's my first day of university. I have been waiting for this day for so long. High school was a bore. I can't believe university is finally here. I really hope my payment went through for all of my classes though. I can't afford to have a mishap with this. But of course I have to change. What am I gonna wear though? It's my first day, it has to be something really cute. Okay, I think this is the perfect outfit for first day of university. Okay, it's time to go. Hi, welcome to Coffee House. How may I help you? Yes, may I please have a iced caramel latte, please? Sure. It'll be right up. Ugh, this is perfect. Okay, it's time to head to school. I don't want to be late for my first day. Wait, can you just explain that to me again? I just don't understand this. Of course, so it seems like your classes have not been paid for yet. So if you don't have a payment for your classes by next month, all your classes will be dropped and you will no longer attend this university. Wait, but that's crazy. I paid last week. How did it not go through? I'm not sure how the payment did not go through, but it says here on our record that you have not paid for any of the classes yet. So as I said before, if you don't pay by next month, all of the classes will be dropped. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Okay, fine, I'll pay by next month. How can this be? I paid, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. And it's not like the babysitting job that I have right now actually pays enough to pay for all of my classes this semester. What am I gonna do? Okay, I know exactly who to call. I have to call up my friend and see if she can help out. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you picked up. Of course, what's going on? I got your text, it sounds like an emergency. It is. I just found out that the payment didn't go through for my classes. I could be dropped out and kicked out of school. And the babysitting job that I have doesn't even cover half of the payment. What am I gonna do? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, that's horrible. I know. I think I'm just gonna have to find another job. Like I can't do the babysitting gig anymore. Oh, you're gonna look for another job? Actually, I did see this job posting online. I can send it to you on your email and see if you like it. And the pay seems really, really good. I mean, at this point, I'm willing to do almost anything, okay? Send me the job posting that you saw online through my email. I'll just check it out, okay? Okay, good idea. I'll send it over now. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, let's see the job posting she sent over. Okay, says a personal assistant? This honestly doesn't even look bad. And they're hiring ASAP. Wait, they're doing interviews today? Oh my gosh, I have to book an interview now. Yes, hello, is this an interview for the personal assistant job? Okay, great. I would like to come in for an interview if that's okay. Maybe around 2 p.m.? Okay, I'll be right there. Thank you. Okay, I have the interview, but I have to change. There is no way I'm going like this. Okay, this is so much better. Now I feel like I'm interview ready. Whoa, am I at the right place? This place is huge. Oh, that must be the guy I was talking to on the phone earlier. He did say that he will meet me out front of the house. Okay, I think it's time for my interview. Hey, you must be Chanel. Welcome. Oh, yes, I am. Okay, let's go ahead inside and we'll start your interview. Okay, great. Okay, so Chanel, it says here that you don't really have experience with personal assistance. Is that correct? That is correct, but I have had a job where I had to be around other people before. So being a personal assistant is nothing very different from what I've done before. I see, I see. And it says that you are also in school. Uh, do you think you'll have enough time to be in school and do this job? Of course, I will make whatever time I need to for this job. 
and my schooling, of course. Okay, because I have to warn you, this is a pretty on-demand job. The boss is pretty demanding, so you will have to be around almost all of the time. Is that okay? That should be, since most of my classes are online anyway. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, and speaking of the boss, I hear him pulling up in the driveway. Would you like to meet him? Oh, like right, right now? Yeah, why not? Oh, sure, okay. Finally. Ugh, I'm home. Uh, Dylan? Who is this? This is Chanel. She was one of the interviewers for the personal assistant job. Uh, hi, I'm Chanel. Did I say you could talk to me? Oh, uh, no, I, I guess not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Listen, I'm a pretty busy guy, so I'm gonna head upstairs. Don't mind him. He's a bit standoffish with new people. Uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the interview. You're free to go home now. Awesome, thank you so much for this. No problem, I'll give you a call if you get the job. Julian, you know she was just trying to be nice, right? She just said hi. Oh, please. I didn't ask her to speak to me. Julian, I know why you're being like this. I know it's because of the last personal assistant we had. Here at the house. Exactly. So you know why I'm being tough. The last assistant totally betrayed me. So yeah, I have some trust issues with assistants now. Can you blame me? No, I really can't blame you. I get it, but maybe just for this one time, kinda ease up a little bit, that's all I'm saying. Dylan, we've known each other since we were kids. You know I've always been this way. Yeah, I guess so. All right, I gotta go. I gotta set up those tickets for next week's business trip. I'll see you later. What's up with that chick anyway? She should have have never talked to me. That'll teach her to speak when spoken to. Oh my gosh, Savannah, I have to tell you about my interview. Of course, tell me all about it. What happened? Well, right when I pulled up, they had a Rolls Royce just sitting in the front yard. I don't know, I think these people are like billionaires or something. Billionaires, what? Are you sure? All the job description said was personal assistant. Yeah, I know, but I think I interviewed to be a billionaire's personal assistant. Wait, seriously? Yes, I'm so serious, and that's not all. At the end of the interview, we actually seen the boss. I met him. Wait, you seen the boss already? How did he look? Is he cute? Oh, uh, well, he wasn't ugly, that is for sure. But honestly, it doesn't even matter about his looks because he was just so rude. Rude? Rude how? Well, Dylan, his personal assistant, was greeting us and then I just said hi to him. And then next thing you know, he asked me if he told me to speak to him. Like what? What the heck? That is so rude. I know, but honestly, I need this job. I have to pay off all of my classes for school. If I don't get this, I could be in serious trouble. Don't worry about it, it's only been a couple of hours. I know, but he said that he will call me back later if I have the job. And he hasn't called back yet. Listen, don't worry about it. Just relax, okay? But listen, I have to go. I'll call you soon. Oh man, why hasn't he called yet? Did I do something wrong? Did the interview didn't go well? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's him. Hello, Dylan? Yes, yeah, Chanel. I have great news. You have the job. Wait, seriously? I have the job? Yep, you do. I'll send over all the details, but congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I have the job. Listen. This meeting in Greece has to go perfect. This could be a huge turning point for the company. We can make this business into a global chain. We just have to make it right. Make sure everything is perfect. We can't have any mishaps. All right, listen, I'll call you back later. There's something I gotta deal with. All right, Dylan, what's up? Everything for the meeting in Greece is going according to plan. All the tickets are provided, the drivers, everything. Everything is already set up. 
so your flight tomorrow is in the morning. It's at 6 a.m. But you do need to have your personal assistant with you on this trip. In case if you need anything during the Greece trip. Dang it, she is gonna have to come, huh? As long as she doesn't get in my way, then fine. Go ahead, call her for tomorrow's flight at 6 a.m. and make sure she actually packs for this trip. And let her know that this is a very important business trip. This can change the entire company's reputation for the better. Call her and let her know about it. I don't need any mishaps. What the heck? This syllabus is crazy. Why do we have two tests every week? Oh my gosh, I think this school semester is gonna be a little harder than I expected. Oh, Dylan's calling. This has to be important. Okay, let me just go ahead and pick up. Hey Dylan, what's up? Hey Chanel, so tomorrow you're actually gonna be on a flight to Greece at 6 a.m. So make sure that you are already packed up tonight because you have to be here at the house by 5 a.m. 5 a.m.? Oh, okay, uh, yeah, I, I can do that. And we're going out of the country? Whoa, this is my first time going out of the country. Oh, really? Well, I hope you enjoy it. But I have to let you know, this is a very important business trip. The company is on the line. So make sure that you have really good formal clothes. Or if not, then we can always buy you some. But I just have to let you know, this is a very important business trip. So whatever the boss needs, make sure that you're around him to give him whatever he needs at that moment, okay? Got it, I understand. So I just have to pack tonight? Yes, make sure you have everything and be here at the house at 5 a.m. Remember that. I'll see you soon. Oh my gosh, I'm going out of the country tomorrow and I have to pack tonight. Oh my gosh, I have to go now. Oh, where is she? It's already 5 a.m. and she's gonna be late to her first day on the job. I did already tell her that this is gonna be a big meeting, so hopefully she comes here really soon. Well, yeah, it's either that or she's fired. Oh, I think I just heard the doorbell. Let me go and check it out. It might actually be her. Okay, right on time. It's 5 a.m. They should be here already. Great, I'm glad I made it. It's about time you made it. I was almost about to fire you. Oh, I, I didn't mean it, but I made it here just on time. It's five o'clock. Wait, hold up, what are you wearing? Oh, uh, well, this is just my outfit for the airport. I wanted to be comfortable since it's such an early flight. Oh my gosh, Dylan, I'm right on it. Wait, what? What just happened? There is no way we're going on a trip together and you're going to the airport with that. What are you even wearing? Are those pajama pants? Yeah, I, I just didn't think it was a problem. Well, yeah, of course it's a problem. This is an important business trip. Wasn't that already told to you? Yeah, I guess, but I just thought that, well, no, you thought wrong. Dylan is gonna get you a backup outfit and you're gonna change quickly because we have to go to the airport very soon. So once you're changed, come back out and we'll go straight to the airport. Got it? Yeah, I, I got it. Oh, why is he so rude? I mean, yeah, I know this is a business trip and an important one too, but I didn't think that it would be such a problem if I just pull up to the airport with my pajama pants. He was just so rude about it. Ugh, whatever, at the end of the day, this is just a job. I have to pay for all of my classes or else I'll be kicked out of school. But he could have been nicer about it though. Gosh. Oh, that might be dealing with the backup clothes. Okay, Chanel, so in this bag, there is a bunch of clothes that you can change in. But you do have to hurry up because we do have to get to the airport very soon. Got it, I'll be quick. Is this better? What do you guys think? Whoa, she actually looks really good. Yeah, it's better, I guess. But we should really start heading to the airport. Dylan, start getting the car ready outside. Um, do I really look okay? Yeah, you actually look really good. But don't let that get to your head. We have work to do. Yeah, I, I wasn't, but oh, okay. The car should be ready now. So follow me. Wait. 
Did he just say I look good? Is he already warming up to me? Okay boss, the car is all ready for you. You can go ahead and get inside. That goes for you too, Chanel. Oh yeah, right. Of course, I'll go inside. All right, let's go ahead and start heading to the airport. We don't have a lot of time. All right, Dylan, let's go. All right, boss, we're here at the airport. Just in time. All right, thanks, Dylan. Let's go, Chanel. Finally, we made it at the airport. Okay, we're here at my penthouse. Whoa, this is huge. I've never been to LA before. And on top of that, a penthouse in general. This is crazy. Yeah, well, don't get too comfortable because this is still work. This is not a vacation. Get your bags settled in any one of the rooms down here. And once you're done, make sure to come right back outside. We have work to do. Okay. He just left. Yeah, the business meeting is tomorrow. It has to go well. Make sure everybody attends too. It's important that everybody is there. Here you go, this is the coffee that you wanted. Oh, wow, what the heck? Dylan, I'll call you back later. Are you stupid or something? You spilled coffee all over me. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it. It was truly an accident, really. An accident? I should fire you right now. Wait, no, please don't do that. I really need this job. I'll do better. I will. Oh, you know what? Just get out of my face. Oh, can't you do anything right? Gosh, now I have to go take a shower again. Oh, I feel so bad. He is so mad at me right now. How am I going to make it up to him? You know what? Maybe I should cook him like his favorite food or something. Yeah, hopefully that helps. I should just go ahead and get in the kitchen. Okay, I really hope he likes this. Okay, there's no need to be nervous. Just knock on his door. All right, I just have to finish this up for the meeting. Um, okay. Oh, did somebody just knock on my door? It must be Chanel. Let me see what she wants. But yeah. Hi. What do you want, Chanel? I, uh... Well, what is it? Oh, yeah, right. Um, I just feel really bad for spilling the coffee earlier, and I wanted to give you this just to make it up for earlier, you know? Well, what do you have? Well, I just made your favorite tomato soup. I mean, you don't have to have it if you don't want to, you know? Oh, I mean, you didn't have to do all that. No, it's fine, really. I just feel so bad about earlier. So, um... I guess here you go. Well, actually, I was getting pretty hungry, so this is fine. And really, I should be apologizing too. I shouldn't have said all those mean things earlier, you know? Oh yeah, well, I understand. I accept your apology too. Well, thanks for the soup, but I should be going back to work now. So she really went out of her way to cook me my favorite food. She's actually pretty cool. And this soup is actually really good. I really hope he likes it. The meeting went exactly how it's supposed to. Dylan, the company is going to be a huge success. It's gonna be a global chain now. This is a huge deal. Let everybody know about this. The meeting was a success. Listen, you've been working hard all day. How about we go out to celebrate? Oh, really? Uh, what do you have in mind? Well, how does dinner sound? Oh, you want to take me out to dinner? Well, yes. Uh, I mean, no, not like that. Just, just to celebrate the success of the meeting. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I'll go to dinner with you. Great, let's head back to the penthouse and get ready. Julian, I just realized that I didn't pack anything for dinner. Don't worry about it. I'll just call somebody up and they'll have you with an outfit really shortly. Thanks, I appreciate it. Julian has been so nice to me ever since yesterday. I always thought that he was really rude, but honestly, he has been showing me such kindness. And it also doesn't hurt that he's pretty cute too. And what's up with this dinner? He said that it's just a celebration, but why do I feel like it could be something more? Okay, I'm done. So, uh, how do I look? Whoa, you look amazing. Oh, really? I thought it was a bit much. I don't know. No, you look great. Let's go ahead and head out. Oh wait, you're not wearing your glasses. 
yeah, I decided to put my contacts in for tonight. Was that a good call? Yeah, that's a great call. I didn't notice how pretty your eyes are. Oh, uh, no one's ever really said that to me before. Thanks. Of course, you look amazing. Let's head out to dinner. Right, of course. Whoa, she looks so good. Wait, what am I saying? Am I catching feelings for her? Whoa, I've never seen someone so beautiful. I'm so used to her having her glasses, but without them, she looks completely different. Um, hey, so I really want to thank you for like taking us out on this dinner. You really didn't have to. I know it's because of the meeting and how well it went. Hey, no problem. As I said before, the meeting went so well, I just wanted to celebrate. Right, of course. Ugh, why does he always look so good? And he always has his abs out. What, is he teasing me or something? Hey, what you staring at? Oh, wait, what? Oh, uh, nothing. So, how's your food? Their tomato soup is alright, but it doesn't compare to yours. Oh, really? I just used an old, an old recipe. Thanks, though. Why the heck did I say that? Over here complimenting her cooking? Ugh, I need to chill. So, have you been to this restaurant before? It seems like the owner of the restaurant knows you a lot. Yeah, I've been here multiple times. Me and the owner is pretty close now. And you know, I've taken a couple girls here too, on like dates and stuff. Nothing crazy. Oh, you've been on dates here? Oh, okay. Ugh, date? Who did he take here before me? Wait, what am I saying? I shouldn't even be jealous. Why am I feeling this way? Talking about dates, when was the last time you've ever been on one? Oh, it was a while back. I think maybe like a year or two ago. A year or two? I would think the last time you had a date was probably last week. I mean, I find you really attractive. Oh, thanks? Why the heck did I say that? Oh, I'm going crazy over here. I'm her boss. I shouldn't be over here complimenting her looks. Did he just say that he finds me attractive? <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, why is he being like this right now? When I first met him, he was so rude. And now all of a sudden, he's actually being really sweet. Why is he like this? Anyways, what about the last relationship you've been in? Oh, relationship? So, to be honest, I've actually never been in a relationship. What? No way! How have you never been in a relationship before? Um, actually, I don't really know. I guess no one has really gotten my attention. That's crazy. I would have never believed you. Yeah, that's usually the reaction I get whenever I tell somebody that. It's kind of embarrassing. Well, I don't mean to embarrass you or anything. No, no, it's totally fine. I'm pretty...
been betrayed one too many times. So listen, before you were my assistant, I had another one. And she was good at her job, but... And she said that she had feelings for me. And eventually, I started having feelings for her too. But come to find out, the only reason why she ever had feelings for me is because I'm a billionaire. And she just wanted to use me for my money. She totally betrayed me. I don't know if I could ever trust somebody again. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. I I didn't know. Yeah, it honestly took a long time coming, but I'm really glad I met you though. I'm really glad I met you too, Julian. Listen, Chanel. Yes, Julian? Is it okay if I kiss you? I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable or anything. Wait, really? Yeah, I like that. But what would that make us? Well, we don't have to rush into anything if you don't want to. But I did have to admit, I do have feelings for you. But we don't have to kiss if you don't want to. No, I definitely want to. Well, 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 look who's back. Hey Dylan, what's up? Hey Dylan, I heard the business meeting in Greece went well. That's great. Yeah, man, it went great. It was a huge success. Yeah, the meeting went according to plan. Well, that's awesome. How about both you guys just come on in? I'm so glad you guys are back home. Chanel, how was the first business trip? Is Julian giving you a hard time? Oh, the business trip was actually really good. It was my first time out of the country and everything went so smoothly. And no, Julian didn't give me a hard time. Hey, cut it out, Dylan. Whatever you say, boss. Well, I'm sure you guys are both pretty tired, so I'll go ahead and head upstairs. Let me know if there's anything you guys may need. So, that was a pretty good trip, right? Yeah, it was great. Everything went according to plan. And, uh, about the kiss. Oh, yeah, don't even worry about it. Yeah, it was pretty out of the blue, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I guess we were both just in the moment. Yeah, right, just in the moment. But hey, make sure to come here tomorrow early because there's some things that you need to get done. I'll make sure to call my driver and make sure that you get home safe. Oh yeah, sure, okay. What did he mean about just in a moment? He completely told me that he has a crush on me and now he's saying that the kiss was just in the moment? So was what he said true does he even really have feelings for me or did he just want to use that to kiss me i mean yeah we had a dinner and it was late and we were on the boat which was so romantic but just in the moment i was completely honest about my feelings so what was he just lying to me about his feelings because that kiss it just it wasn't an in the moment type of kiss but if that kiss was just a moment for him then whatever Ugh, i don't know if i sh should have even kissed him anyways it's getting late i should probably just head to bed Ugh, i am so tired okay this outfit should be good for today i should really start heading out i have your coffee julian awesome thanks oh uh, yeah sure no problem listen you've been pretty distant all day is something going on what no i just um because you know if something's wrong you could just tell me well now that you mention it there is something that i've been wanting to kind of talk to you about if that's okay with you uh, yeah sure what is it is it okay if we go outside and talk i don't really want to have anybody hearing our conversation yeah let's go to the backyard so the thing is when we came back from the greece trip you said that the kiss was just in the moment and i don't know how you feel about it but that kiss wasn't just in the moment for me i really expressed my true feelings to you and with you saying that the kiss was just in the moment it just felt like everything that you said that night at the dinner in greece about how you have a crush on me and feelings for me 
it just made me think if everything you said was actually true. Wow, Chanel, I, I didn't know you felt that way. But that's really not what I meant about the kiss was just in the moment. Of course, everything I said to you was absolutely true. I really do have feelings for you. And I really do have a crush on you. I just didn't know that you felt that way about what I said the other day. I really apologize. How about this? How about I take you out to dinner tonight and we could talk about everything there? Okay, yeah, I'd really like that. Tonight has to be perfect. I really didn't know Chanel even felt that way about what I said. I think today is the day I finally ask her. I hope I look okay. Julian said that he'll be here any minute. Oh, that has to be him. Oh, Julian, you're here. Whoa, Chanel, you look amazing. Oh, well, thanks. I'm just glad you showed up. Are you ready to go? Yeah, but first, um, I picked up these flowers. They're for you. Julian, you didn't have to. I'm gonna go ahead and put these down and we could start heading out. Take your time, I'm not going anywhere. Did I already tell you that you look beautiful tonight? Yeah, you did. Hello, I'll be your waitress today. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, can I have steak with green beans? And can I have salmon with mashed potatoes? Awesome, great choices. Your food will be out in a moment. Hey, listen, so I wanted to bring you out here tonight because I wanted to apologize for what I said about the kiss. I really didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I totally get it, and I'm sure you wasn't trying to hurt my feelings or anything. I just didn't know what else to think. I mean, I really like you, Julian. And that comment just, it just kind of stung. I should have never said that. I apologize. Don't worry about it. I accept your apology. How about we just enjoy this dinner? I'm really happy that you brought me out here. Of course, I'm glad that you decided to come. Okay, guys, here's your food. Enjoy. And actually, Chanel, there's another reason why I brought you to this dinner. Yeah, sure. What's up? Well, I have something to ask you. Of course, what's up? Will you be my girlfriend? Oh my gosh, Julian, I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, I know, it's really out of the blue, but I really wanted to show you how much I care for you. So, will you be my girlfriend? Julian, I would love to be your girlfriend, but it's just right now, we just met. And I know I have feelings for you, and I do. And it's really strong, but it's just right now, we just met. And I still want to know more about you before we get into the relationship. I hope you understand. Oh, yeah. I wasn't really expecting that answer, but yeah, it actually makes sense. I understand. Great, I'm so happy you understand. This doesn't mean that I don't have feelings for you. I just want to get to know you more. That's all. Chanel, it's all good. I totally understand. Take your time. It is getting pretty late though, and we both have to wake up pretty early tomorrow. So how about I drop you back home? Yeah, that'll be great. Julian, I had such a great night with you today. Thanks again for taking me out to dinner. Of course, Chanel. Anything for you. I'll see you tomorrow morning at work. Yeah, for sure. Good night. Oh, I had such a great time today with Julian. He is so great, but he asked me to be his girlfriend. And I just want to get to know him more before we actually get into a relationship. I mean, it makes sense. We just met. I don't want to rush into anything. I have to know more about him. I hope he really doesn't feel bad. He said that he doesn't, but I don't know. I hope this doesn't make things awkward. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm so mad. How can she possibly reject me? I've never been rejected before. What, does she think I can't have her? I can't believe this. This is so frustrating. Who does she think she is? Rejecting me? This has to be some sick joke. This is not real. But there's no way. She seemed so serious at the restaurant. Ah, dang it. I can't believe this. You know what? 
I'll just have to make her mine. Yeah, I'll just do that. She will be mine. Ugh, I have so much homework to do. I should have just done everything before we went out to the restaurant. And I have to get this done before tomorrow. I have to wake up early for work. Oh wait, Julian just texted me. Oh, he just asked if I was up. Uh, yeah, I'll just let him know that I am up, but I do have so much homework to do. I'm just gonna have to talk to him tomorrow at work. Wait, she has homework? Ugh, I forgot she was in college. Dang it. Well, maybe if I just keep messaging her, eventually she's gonna respond back. I have to get a response. I can't wait until tomorrow. Okay, so it seems like I have to carry the one and... Wait, hold on. Wait, what? It's Julian. He's blowing up my phone. Okay, I'm just gonna have to turn my phone off. I have to focus on my homework. I have to just talk to him tomorrow. Oh, dang it. Now she's not even picking up her calls. Is she ignoring me? Did I do something wrong? Ugh, this is unacceptable. I'm gonna have to have a talk with her tomorrow. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's already morning time? All right, time to get ready for work. Okay, I think this outfit should be good for today. Ugh, I really hope things aren't awkward between me and Julian. I didn't want to reject him, but it's true. I really just need to know more about him. Okay, I don't want to be late. I'll just go to work. Hey, Chanel, how are you? Hey, Dylan, just ready to work. Of course, just come on in. Oh, yeah, and before I forget, Julian said that he really needs to talk to you. I'm not too sure what this is about, but he said that it's urgent. Wait, really? Oh my gosh, is something wrong? I'm not too sure. He didn't really say much. He just said that as soon as I see you, to let you know that he really wants to talk to you about something important. Okay, where can I find him? Is he home right now? Yeah, he's right upstairs. It's to the room on your left. Okay, thanks Dylan. Julian! It's me. You said you wanted to talk. I'm here now. Oh man, I really hope everything is okay. Could this be about last night? Chanel, you're here. Come on in. Whoa, Julian, you look really tired. Is everything okay? You said it was urgent, right? What's going on? Chanel, I, I just couldn't sleep. I had to see you. Well, I'm here. What's what's going on? Did you see any of my messages last night? Any of my calls? I mean, yeah, I saw some of them, but I had to turn off my phone because I was doing so much homework for college. Wait, you turned off your phone? Yeah, I have an important test, so I really had to get my work done. Wait, so what? You were just purposely ignoring me? Ignoring my calls? Ignoring my texts? Ignoring you? No, I, I wasn't ignoring you. I told you that I have a lot of work to do. And my phone just kept going off. It was just so distracting. Oh, so I'm just a distraction to you now? I'm taking away time from your schooling? Is that what you're saying? What? Julian, that's not what I'm saying at all. Are you okay? What's going on? Ugh. I'm just so stressed right now. Oh, I just gotta sit down. Oh, okay. Well, what are you stressed about? Chanel, I'm stressed about you. Wait, about me? Why are you stressed about me? Last night, at dinner, you said you didn't want to be my girlfriend. But why? Well, I just said that because we just met. I still want to know more about you. Oh, that's so frustrating. But if you really really want to wait then fine i'm willing to wait well that's good to hear but you have to take some rest you look super tired i wish i could but i have an important meeting today it's gonna start soon oh okay well is there anything else you wanted to tell me actually yeah don't ignore my calls again or my messages and just know one day you will be mine what? Julian, I don't even know how to respond to that. Listen, I gotta go get to work. There's a lot of tasks I need to get done. 
And plus, your meeting is starting soon anyway. Yeah, I guess so. Hey Chanel, is everything okay with Julian? Uh, yeah, everything is fine, but he was just stressed. Stressed? Stressed about what? I guess just stressed about a lot of things. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with my tasks. And I'm gonna go straight home today. Fine by me. Go ahead. Ugh, Julian was acting so weird today. I thought he really had to say something super, super important. But what did he mean? He just said that I'll be his girlfriend or something? Ugh, this is just so confusing. And the way he looked? He looked like he had no sleep. This is so not good for him. I don't know. I tried to calm him down. And I think it helped, but he still seemed so tense. I don't know what's going on with him. Ugh, I'm just so tired. I have to go to bed. Maybe I should do some reading before I go to bed, though. Just to catch up on my topics for tomorrow in class. Chanel, I will have you. Just you wait and see. Wait, what? What's that sound? Julian? Julian! What the heck are you doing here? How did you get in my house? What? Why are you here? Chanel, relax. I just wanted to see you. See me? In the middle of the night? I was sleeping, Julian. Why didn't you just text me or something? You ignore all my texts now, remember? Julian, listen. I apologize for not responding to your text messages, but I was just busy. This isn't an excuse to just come in my house. Oh, so what? I'm not invited? I'm not saying that, but in the middle of the night, while I'm sleeping, how did you even come in here? Don't worry about that. I have my ways. Listen, Julian, this is not okay. You can't just go into my house at any time. You have to let me know when you want to come over, okay? You know, Chanel, I'm really tired of you rejecting me. This is the second time this week. Julian, please, can we just talk about this tomorrow? I really have to go to bed, okay? Well, then I'll just go in with you. What? Go into my bed with me? Listen, you're talking crazy now. But why not? We both have feelings for each other. It's not like anything's gonna happen anyway. Julian, no. You're scaring me, okay? Just leave. Is that what you really want? You want me to leave? Yes, just leave for tonight and we'll talk tomorrow, okay? We'll talk at work. There will be no work for you tomorrow. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean there will be no work tomorrow for me? Well, haven't you figured it out? You're fired. What? What are you talking about? I'm fired. I've done everything I was supposed to. Why is this all of a sudden? Because I said so. I don't want you working anymore. If you want me to leave, you can't work for me. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. You know how important this job is for me. I have to pay for my classes for college. How am I supposed to do that now? Huh. You think I care? You think I care about your stupid school? Listen, maybe it's best for you to get out of school anyway so you have more time for me. More time for you? You want more time for you? Listen, we work together. We go on dates, we hang out, we talk on the phone. What are you talking about more time for you? Oh, what do you not get? I told you I'm gonna make you mine. Mine forever. Julian, you're scaring me, okay? Oh, come on. You know I don't like to see you cry. Well, what do you expect? You come in my house in the middle of the night while I'm sleeping. You say that you're gonna make me yours forever? What are you talking about? Listen, princess, I don't want to hurt you, but this is just how things go. Wait, you said this is how things go? Are you telling me that you've done this before? Well, yeah, of course I have. What? Are you serious? Well, yeah. You remember when we were in Greece and I was telling you about that ex-assistant that I had? Um, yeah? Well, it turns out she rejected me too. And I had to find a way to make her mine. And I didn't want to hurt her, really. But for some reason, 
She wanted to call the cops on me, so I had no choice but to put her away. She totally betrayed me. No, this can't be true. Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen to you because you're different. Julian, please, just get out of my house. I already told you, if you want me to leave, you can't work for me anymore. No, I need this job, I do. Then be mine, be my girlfriend. Fine, fine, okay, I'll be your girlfriend, just please don't hurt me. Princess, I already told you, I won't hurt you, not anymore. What do you mean? Just as long as you do everything I say, you'll be just fine. Everything you just say? Like what? What do you mean by that? Well, if you want more details, we're gonna have to talk about this tomorrow. Make sure you come early and meet me back upstairs in my room. We have a lot of things to discuss. I'll just go ahead and let myself out. Rest easy. Good night. I... I... What do I do? I really just became his girlfriend. But all of his threats... He threatened to fire me if I didn't become his girlfriend. What's gonna happen tomorrow when I see him? Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I can't tell anybody about this. If the cops get involved, he might just put me away just like his ex-assistant. I can't let anything happen to me. <gasps> Finally, she's mine. There's no way out now. Ugh, I didn't get any sleep. I don't even know what to wear today. I'm not worried about that. I have to meet up with Julian today. Last night, it was just, it was just so scary. I don't know what he wants to talk to me about today. I think he said details about me being his girlfriend. Ugh, this is too much, but I have to meet up with him today. A deal's a deal. Nice to see that you finally made it. Julian, what do you want? I already agreed to be your girlfriend. What more can you possibly want? Let's talk outside. Okay, we're outside. What do you want? Since you're gonna be my girlfriend, there's some things that we need to discuss. Okay, like what? Okay, fine. Let's just discuss it. First thing you have to know, you will have a weekly allowance of $10,000. So you no longer actually have to work for me. What? Really? Yeah. You'll just receive it and it'll get wired to your bank account. Okay, and what's next? You have to put a tracker in your phone. What? A tracker? That's totally invading my privacy. Well, that's what comes with being my girlfriend. I have to know where you're at at all times. And since you don't like to pick up your phone or text messages, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, fine. A tracker in my phone. Is there anything else? And every time you see me, you have to greet me with a kiss. What? A kiss? I don't know. Well, that's what comes with it. It's not like we haven't kissed before. I mean, I, I guess. And one more thing. You can't tell anybody about our relationship. No family, no friends, teachers, classmates, no one. And if you do, I have no choice but to put you away. Wait, what? I can't tell anybody? But why? You can't know that right now. But trust me, you don't want to get put away. It's not fun. Okay, fine. Is there anything else? You do have to sign this NDA to make sure that everything is understood. Okay, fine. I'll sign it. But just so you know, the only reason why I'm deciding to sign this is because I have to get through college. Okay. Whatever you say, princess. But just know that after I finally graduate college, I am no longer your girlfriend. I can't do this for so long. I can't do this for my whole life. Yeah, we'll just see about that. If we're finished here, I want to go home. I don't want to be here anymore. Not at this house. Sure, I'll let my driver drive you back home. But first, I'm going to have to have your phone. I got to install the tracker now fine i'll give it to you okay this should be everything here's your phone back i can't believe you really put a tracker in my phone hey you signed the nda this is what you signed up for if you want to get through college this is it fine just give me my phone back listen i want to make something clear 
I know that this is probably really scary for you, but I just want to let you know, I really do have feelings for you, and I don't want to see you hurt. I just want to protect you and make sure that you're okay, and I want you to be mine forever. But that's just it, Julian. What do you expect me to do? You come in the middle of my house while I'm sleeping, unannounced, and then you send me threads talking about you'll fire me if I don't become your girlfriend? That's not the way to do things. And to think, I really had feelings for you. This is just crazy. Don't worry. Everything is gonna make sense. Just know that I'll protect you. Protect me? Protect me from what? You keep saying that. Don't worry about it. I've said enough. My driver is downstairs. He'll go ahead and drive you back home. I can't believe that just happened. All of those rules? Just to be his girlfriend? I mean, sure, I have a weekly allowance to get me through college, but in trade, have a tracker in my phone, sign an NDA, can't tell anyone about our relationship? What is that even about? And he keeps telling me that he's gonna protect me but protect me from what? Oh, this is so annoying. What is he not telling me? I have to find out. What if he's hiding something huge? Something super secretive? That has to be it. Why else will he give me an NDA to sign just to be in a relationship with him? This is all way too much. And this is getting too crazy, but I can't tell anybody not even my best friend Savannah. Oh no, this is gonna be harder than I expected. But I have to. I don't wanna get put away. Ugh, all of this work. I can't even focus on class with everything going on. I just left Julian's house and I have to come straight here to class. Graduating college is so important to me. When I graduate, I'll be the first person in my family to graduate. I can set up my children for success. I have to do it. I have to graduate. But with everything going on with Julian, it's so hard just to focus on my classes, let alone do all of my work without him blowing up my phone. Ugh, I just have to get through it. I have to. Dang, I have to use the bathroom. Maybe a little walk will just clear my head. This is all so much. I don't know how I'm gonna take it. Okay, I know the bathroom is here. Chanel. Julian, what are you doing here? I had to come and get you. Come and get me? Come and get me for what? I'm just in the middle of class. I had to go to the bathroom. And now you're popping up in my college? Like, what are you talking about? I gotta take you out of college today. Okay, but why? You're not telling me anything. Is everything okay? I'll tell you all the details once we're on the plane. Plane? Where are we going? Where are you taking me? You can't just pull me out of class and expect me to just go anywhere with you. Well, you don't have a choice. You're coming with me. And don't tell me you already forgot. Forgot what? What are you talking about? One of the rules in terms of being my girlfriend. You remember, whenever you see me, you have to greet me with a kiss. Julian, just not right now. We're in public. Oh, come on. Nobody's around. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, are you happy now? Of course. I'm always happy with you, princess. Now, come on, we have to go. Follow me, our driver's gonna be here soon. All right, our driver is here. Get in. Wait, I didn't pack anything. I don't even know where we're going. Don't worry about that. Once we reach our destination, you'll get everything you'll need. Okay, sir, we are here. Have a safe flight. We will. All right, we're here. I packed everything in the suitcase for everything that you need. I went in your house and got everything that you may need. Clothes, skincare, and if there's anything else that you may need, we could just buy it. Of course you went to my house unannounced again. Okay, thanks anyway. Our penthouse is getting prepared, but have you ever been to Paris? Uh, no, I haven't. The only time I was really out of the country is when we went to Greece. Oh yeah. 
This will be fun. All right, welcome in. Oh my gosh, this place is huge. There's even a balcony out here. You can see the entire Alphal Tower. I'm glad you like it. Come over here and get some breakfast. Okay, Julian, I know we're here in Paris and everything, but you still haven't told me why we're here. You took me out of class to come to Paris, but why? I'm gonna be completely honest. There's some things that you just don't know about me. Um, okay, like what? You know that I have a global chain company, but I also have another business. A business that's kind of dark. Um, okay, Julian, what are you trying to say? Just say it. Well, the truth is, I'm in the mafia. What? You're in the mafia? This is crazy. This is where I draw the line. Chanel, just calm down. Calm down? You expect me to calm down when I just found out that you're now in the mafia? This is crazy. Listen, I know this is not your ideal situation for your first relationship, but this is just who I am. I want to be completely honest with you. What's happening? What has my life gotten into? Now I'm dating a mafia boss? What the heck? Okay, you say that you're a mafia boss, fine. But what does that have to do with us being in Paris? I don't understand that. Well, the reason why we're in Paris is because remember that Greece meeting that we had? Uh, yeah, I remember that. Well, it turns out that somebody from another mafia attended that same meeting. And now they're threatening us saying that they have private information about the company that they'll sell on the dark web. And they said that for exchange for the private information to not get sold on the dark web, I have to pay them $500 million. And if I don't, they threaten to hurt the people I love. That's why I had to take you out of college and come straight to Paris. This way, I can protect you. Oh, I thought the meeting went good. I thought it was a huge success. It was for the company, but for me personally, it just brought a whole lot of drama. But I think I'm starting to get it now. The tracker on my phone, you wanting to always be right where I'm at, is for my protection. Exactly. I never want anything to hurt you. But you're the one that's bringing the drama. Before all of this, I was just in school, trying to pay for my classes, and now I have to worry about a mafia boss boyfriend and people trying to come at me because you won't pay them $500 million? This is crazy, and it's getting more and more insane by the day. Listen, I don't want you getting stressed, okay? Don't worry about it. Maybe you just need some rest. It was a long flight. Ugh, yeah, maybe I do. How did all of this happen? I can't believe what my life is now. There's so much to think about, but really all I want to do is just take a shower and just go to bed. <sighs> Finally, a relaxing bath. This is exactly what I need right now. Oh, Julian, get out of here. I'm trying to take a bath. Oh, don't worry, princess. Pretend like I'm not even here, but don't mind me. I'm just gonna go take a shower. Um, okay. This is so awkward. He's literally just right there next to me taking a shower. I hope he knows nothing is happening tonight. <laughs> she looked so embarrassed when I seen her, but she should know that I don't expect anything though. But I do have to say, she is beautiful. Good, he's already out of the shower. Ugh, okay, I could finally just relax and just do my skincare. I really hope he's not expecting anything tonight. And I don't even want to see him in the shower. I mean, yeah, I do have to admit, it's really clear that he takes really good care of his body. But we still just met, and we just became boyfriend and girlfriend. And with everything going on with him, it's better to not get too attached. Finally, it's time to go to bed. I'm so tired. Wait, what the heck? There's only one bed? You're not coming to bed? Wait, I didn't know that there was only one bed here. Well, yeah, there is. What, is that a problem? Well, I mean, it's just... You should know that I don't expect anything tonight, all right? It's just one bed. Uh, yeah, right. Just stay on your side and I'll stay on mine. <laughs> Don't worry, princess. You don't have to worry about a thing. Get in bed. I'll make sure to just lock up the penthouse. 
and make sure everything is in the clear. So don't worry about anything. Uh, yeah, right. I weirdly feel so safe with him. I don't know what's going on. But he's right. I should really get to bed. I'm so tired. Wow, she looks like an angel when she sleeps. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, princess. Man, it's been a long day. It's time to go to bed. <gasps> wow, I can't believe I'm still in Paris. Aside from everything, this is honestly such a beautiful place. Oh, and Julian is still sleeping. You know, with everything going on, with him being a mafia boss, and just everything else, I can tell that he's genuinely just a good person. I always weirdly just feel so safe with him, like nothing is really gonna happen to me. But I know that there's just some things about him that I can't get caught up with. And maybe I am catching some feelings for him, but I have to keep my distance. I can't get attached. Maybe I should call some room service for breakfast for the both of us before he wakes up. Um, hello, yes? Yeah, I'm in 301 in the penthouse. Can you please send up some breakfast? Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm glad the staff here speaks French and English. It makes things so much easier. Maybe I should start getting ready for the day. I do want to go shopping today and explore the city. Oh yeah, I really haven't gone through everything in this suitcase. Hopefully Julian packed something good for me to wear, especially here for Paris. Okay, I think this is actually really good for today. Julian did a good job with packing. Hmm, maybe I should do something new with my hair though. We are in another country, so I might as well take advantage of it. Wow, I haven't had my hair up in so long. I think I should do it more often. Wow, how beautiful can you get? Julian, I... I didn't know you were awake yet. Yeah, well, I'm glad I am. You look beautiful. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. You heading out? Yeah, I wanted to just explore the city. I was going to tell you until you woke up. But, you know, we're in Paris, so I just want to take advantage of it. Yeah, I got it. Give me a minute. I'm going to get ready so we can go out together. Okay, yeah. I'll wait outside. All right, I'm all ready. Let's head out. Ooh. Wait, he kind of looks good. And of course he has his abs out. Hey, princess, you like what you see? Oh, wait, what? You were kind of just staring there. Oh, no, I just, you, you just look good. Just trying to look good for you, princess. All right, let's head out. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. I ordered room service, but they never came. I think they're still cooking it. It's okay. We could just grab something outside. Let's go. I'm going to take you to one of my favorite spots in Paris. It's a cafe. They have some pretty good food options. Okay, great. Let's go. But before we go, aren't you forgetting something? Forgetting something? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. You forgot to give me a kiss today. Oh, I totally forgot about that. I'll give you one. Oh, really? So easily? No rebuttal? All right. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Let's head out to the cafe. This is it. This is one of my favorite places here in Paris. This cafe. Wow, it looks so pretty. Let's head inside. I'm hungry. Bonjour, what would you like today? Uh, yes, can me and my girlfriend have your specialty? The hot cocoa with the croissant? Ooh, that sounds really good. Of course, monsieur. That will be coming up very soon. Please take a seat, take a seat. I can see why you like this place so much. It has a certain charm to it. It's so pretty. Yeah, this place is pretty exclusive. And actually, my parents used to run this place. Wait, really? Yeah, they're originally from Paris. And then when they found out that they were pregnant with me, they moved to the US. But yeah, this place used to be theirs. And I guess it technically still is. Because when I found out that this place used to be their theirs, I bought out the place to make sure that it continued in the family. Oh my gosh, really? That's actually so sweet of you to do. Yeah, I'm really hoping that one of these days, my children can inherit this place and call it theirs. Julian, that's so sweet. I didn't know you did that. Well, yeah, there's a lot of things you don't know about me, at least not yet. But actually, since we're here and we're talking, I actually still don't really know much about you. Why are you so obsessed with college and stuff. I mean, you have a weekly allowance of $10,000 now, 
You don't have to work a day in your life anymore. But yet, you still want to graduate college? Why? Well, actually, it is a lot deeper than just graduating college. So, actually, I'll be the first one in my family to graduate college when I do graduate. And I'm hoping that one of these days when I have children, they, they can look to me as an example and hopefully go to college too. And of course, they don't really have to go to college if they have a secure plan outside of high school. But still, I want them to know that the option is always there. And I'm really hoping to start a cycle for my children and their children too. Wow, I didn't know all of that. I didn't know how much it really meant to you until now. Yeah, well, you don't know a lot about me too. Excusez-moi, your coffee and your croissant ready. Whenever you want it, it's ready to take. I'll go ahead and grab our stuff. You stay here. Okay, our coffee and croissant is here. You can go ahead and start eating. I'm happy to see that she's actually enjoying herself. She looks happy. Oh, I'm getting a call. I gotta take this. Okay, yeah, I'll just wait in here. All right, Dylan, what's up? Boss, I think we ran into a problem. What are you talking about? What's going on? The other mafia member that was at that meeting in Greece, he just raised the stakes. He doesn't just want 500 million in exchange for the private information not being exposed on the dark web, but he also found out about your girlfriend, Chanel. What does she have to do with any of this? Well, it seems like he doesn't just want the 500 million, he also wants a date with your girlfriend. What? No way. That's not happening in a million years. Tell him to make up something else. Boss, I tried. He's not budging. So not only does he want 500 million dollars, but he also wants a date with my girl? He's greedy, huh? It seems so, boss. What do we do? We're gonna handle this situation the way we handle every problem. We'll just put them away. Boss, it's not that simple. These people, they're dangerous. Hey, do you know who you're talking to? You say they're dangerous, so what does that make me? Have you already gotten doubts? for a battle that hasn't even begun? If so, I'll find somebody else. No, boss, that's that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Good. When I get back from Paris, we'll talk about the details. But right now, I can't talk too long. I have somebody I have to protect. This is a problem. If they already know about Chanel, then they most likely already know all of her private information, including where she lives, where she goes to school, this is not looking good. I gotta handle this ASAP. But right now, she's happy, and I wanna keep her that way. So I'm not gonna say anything just yet, not until we get back home. Oh, hey, you're back. I was starting to think that you just left. Oh, I would never leave you. But how about we go ahead and do some shopping? Is there anything you need? Actually, yeah, there is a few pieces that I want. Let's go. Wow, we got so much stuff today. Thanks for taking me shopping. I'm gonna go ahead, put this down, and start washing up. Of course, don't mention it. And yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna be out in the balcony. Okay, I'll see you. I hope everything is okay with Julian. When he came back, he just seemed so tense. I mean, we were just having a good time. We shared a lot of personal details with each other. And then he said that he needed to take a call outside. And he was out there for a while. And I could have sworn him yelling or something but I'm not too sure. And then he came back and he was just kind of tense. I don't know what could be happening, but hopefully everything's all right. This is some serious business. If they know all about Chanel's personal information, then it won't be long until they find out where we are. We may have to leave Paris and fast. All I know is that this person is from another mafia, but that's about it. Who is this guy threatening? 500 million dollars and go on a date with my girl? I need to know all about him and his mafia. The battle has just begun. All right, Dylan, tell me everything you know about this mafia member. Well, just like I said on the phone, he said that if you don't pay him $500 million and a date with your girlfriend, he's going to sell 
every private information that we have about our company and he said that he's gonna sell it on the dark web if you don't cooperate the nerve on this guy who is he anyway well actually that's the thing i have to tell you about you might find this information really shocking dylan tell me i don't have time for this i have chanel to protect well it turns out that with some research and of course investigation it seems like the other mafia member is your brother what my brother rico little rico there's no way i don't believe you i know how this may sound but it's true i've called every private investigator for this case and they all said the same thing it's rico your younger brother what this is crazy how is it rico how did he even end up in the mafia dylan what other information do you have i need to know everything well it seems like after your fallout with your brother years ago he's been working to get on top of the mafia gang chain he's been working to be the top mafia leader in the world this isn't the first time he's threatened another mafia leader in his mind you're just another one of them set up a meeting with him and let him know that he has to come by the house we need to discuss some things rico i called you over because we need to talk about these things big bro well it seems like you finally called me over you know it's about time you actually found out that it was me i bet you were shocked rico why are you doing this this is total betrayal. Ah, come on, don't be so dramatic. It's just a bit of fun, that's all. You know, brother, you've built an empire, but it's crumbling down. What do you want, Rico? Hey, I'm just here for a friendly chat between brothers. Cut the crap. I know you're not just here for a friendly chat. I know you well enough to know that you want more than that. Hey, I'm just trying to liven up the mood a little bit. You see this disc right here? This little CD, this contains everything. Financial records, secrets, even your dirty laundry. So what's your game, Rico? Uh, well, thanks for asking. It's simple, really. Pay me $500 million and I'll keep this off the dark web. How does that sound? Do you think I would pay a dime for your betrayal? You know, it's not just about the money. There's another condition. Oh yeah? And what must that be? I go on a date with your girl. Chanel, right? I'm pretty sure that's her name. You want me to put her in danger? Are you out of your mind? Hey, I'm just offering a chance to keep your empire intact. Make it worth my while. I see you've grown a pair. You have some nerve. Well, what can I say, big bro? I guess you can say I've matured over the last few years. And what if I refuse on these conditions you have? Well then, the whole world will know everything about you, brother. And I mean everything. Trust me, if you want the whole world to know everything about you, then fine. Don't pay me the $500 million and don't let me see your girlfriend. But trust me, everything in this disc, you don't want anyone to see the light of day of it so if you know what's good for you and your empire then you'll just hand over whatever i want rico you're playing a dangerous game hey don't blame me you're the one who taught me the rules remember Is he? He's already late and I'm sitting here alone. Ugh, I'm starting to get worried. You're here, you finally made it. You're late. My bad, had some uh, family business. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's just my brother. He's being difficult. Really? I didn't even know you had a brother. What's going on? Is this something serious? Well, what's really going on is he's threatening me. Threaten? What does he want? He has two conditions. You won't believe what they are. Try me. What is it? What is he threatening you with? 
And what are his conditions? 500 million and a date with you. What the heck? Is he out of his mind? That's literally insane. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. This is super serious. And it's coming from your brother? That's crazy. Do you even know what you're gonna do next? I don't know exactly what I'm gonna have to do next, but I know that I won't let him win. I need to figure out my next move. This is super serious. I didn't know how it was before, but your relationship with your brother is interfering with your own, with your own life. Has he ever done this before? Threaten you like this? Honestly, I wouldn't even know. I just found out that he's a mafia leader too. And for the last couple of years, he's been working on becoming the top mafia leader in the world. In the world? That's crazy. What if he goes through with it? Then what happens? He won't. He knows it will destroy him too. How dare he tries to threaten me? I do have to admit, I was the one that taught him the rules of the mafia. But who knew? that he would just betray me like this. I don't have time to think about that. I need to figure out my next move. It has to be smart and calculated. I don't need any mishaps with this. This is bigger than me. It includes Chanel too. I have to protect her. I think I know what I have to do. Play him with his own game. I need to call every private investigator for this. Hey, yeah, it's me. Get me everything you can about Rico's crew. I want to know all of his moves, and I mean everything. I won't lose to him. Not now, not ever. Ugh, this is so messed up. I just don't understand. Why is Julian's little brother Rico threatening him? All I know is just about the two conditions, but... Whatever Rico has on Julian has to be serious. I mean, what is Julian even gonna do? I don't even know what I would do. And this is coming from his brother. This is total betrayal. I really just feel kind of bad for Julian. I mean, I know we had a rocky start and everything, but he's really shown me a whole different side to him. He's super protective. And I honestly feel safe with him anyway. I think I'm really starting to warm up to him. But honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen next. Things can get really serious really quickly. Maybe I should just call him or something, just to check up. I don't know how he's feeling right now. Hello? Hey, Julian. I just wanted to call you and see how you were doing. Ever since we went out that one night and you told me about your brother, I've just been kind of worried about you. Oh yeah? This is new? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. But seriously, how are you? I mean, it's kind of hard. Everything I do has to be calculated. I can't let him win. This is serious business. And I don't want you to get hurt. Yeah, I get that. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, actually, there is something you can do to help. Yeah, what is it? I've already came up with a plan. We had to talk about it in person, not over the phone. Okay, I'll meet you at your place. All right, I'm here. What's the plan? I do have a plan, but you may not like it. What do you mean? Julian, just tell me what's the plan. I want to help. Well, you know how my brother wants to have a date with you, right? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, my plan is you're going to have to go on that date. Julian, you're not serious. You really want me to go on a date? With your brother? Chanel, I know how this may look, but let me finish telling you the plan. Okay, fine. What's the rest of your plan? So clearly my brother wants to go on a date with you. But the thing is, we're gonna have you wired. So everything that he says, I'll know about. And everything that you say, I'll hear. How does that sound? Well, actually, if you think about it, that's pretty smart. But Chanel, don't take this lightly. This is still a very dangerous game. But with you having the wire on, I can be able to protect you wherever you're at. And even if I hear something suspicious, I'll just pull up. Okay, the wire is fine and it is smart, but I don't know, I'm a little nervous about this. I know this could be a little nerve wracking, but you have to trust me. I'll have security on standby 
at all times. And you know, I'm always near whenever you need me. Well, if you say that this can work, then okay, we'll try it. Great, I'll call up some people and let them know that this plan is a go. Thanks again, princess. Of course, I just wanna help. Dylan, get everything ready. The plan is a go. Sure thing, boss. Finally, I could get some rest. Home sweet home. Oh, finally, I can relax. Oh, dang, who's calling my phone? Oh, well, this is a surprise. Hey, bro, I was wondering when you'll call me. Rico, fine. If you want to go on a date with Chanel, then do it. But trust me, if you even try to think of doing anything, I will come for you. Hey, bro, that's the spirit. And hey, don't worry. I won't do anything your girl doesn't want me to do. This isn't a game, Rico. I'm serious. Hey, I'm serious too, you know. You know, now that I think about it, I wonder, how does she smell? Rico, stop with the BS. I'm not playing around. All right, all right, just making fun, okay? But okay, if the date is on, then I'm in. I really can't believe this is happening. I'm going on a date with my boyfriend's brother? Ugh, I mean, I know that this is just business, but still, it's so weird. And how am I even supposed to prepare for something like this? I know me and Julian went over this plan like a thousand times, but I don't know, I'm still so nervous. I already have all the information that I need. I'm gonna be wired up and Julian's gonna be able to hear everything. How does Rico even know about me? I met Julian months ago and he seems to already know everything about me. Based on what Julian told me, it seems like Rico has been looking into me for a long time. But why is he so interested in me? And why does he want to have a date with me out of all people? Ugh, the more I think about it, the crazier it sounds. I mean, how am I even supposed to dress for something like this? Do I treat it like a normal date and try to look my best? Or... Ugh, this is all so confusing. Okay, you know what? I'll just try to make a cute outfit or something. I have to meet Rico at the restaurant in about two hours, so that should give me enough time to finish getting ready. Julian said to wear something red because that's Rico's favorite color. And I guess the better I look to Rico, the more information we can get out of him. Okay, let's see what I'm gonna wear. All right, I guess this is the best I can do right now. Okay, Julian's driver should be picking me up in about 30 minutes, so I should probably head outside. Hey, I'm about to head out now. Make sure that if she doesn't show up, everything gets exposed. Yes, sir. I hear you loud and clear. Julian, I'm about to head inside. Can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. Okay, great. Hopefully this earpiece doesn't fall out. You'll be just fine. And remember why you're there. Don't let him get into your head. Right. I'm ready. Let's see if she actually decides to show up. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, that must be him. Okay. Wait, is he wearing red too? Dang it, I should have worn just another color. Well, you know what? Actually, this might be good. Okay, I'm getting too nervous. Let me just calm down and walk in. Okay, just remember the plan. Remember the plan. Whoa, she looks good. She actually looks more beautiful in person. You must be Rico. Julian said I'd find you here. I'm glad you can make it, Chanel. You look beautiful. Thank you. Julian wanted me to remind you that this is just a business arrangement. Oh, I'm well aware. Let's not pretend there isn't a spark between us. Listen, I don't think you're here because Julian wants to protect his interests. But what if I told you I'm not just after money? What do you mean? I need something more valuable than cash. I want to understand the woman I'm threatening to destroy. 
I don't think you can threaten me, Rico. Julian will do anything to protect me. Oh yeah? And what if I told you I already have information that can ruin him? All I need is 500 million and a night with you. You really think that's all I am? A bargaining chip? You're worth more than that. But in this world, we all play our parts. Why me, Rico? Out of everybody you could have went on a date with, why me? Isn't it obvious? Because you're different. You have a fire that intrigues me, and I'm tired of living in my brother's shadow. Hello, my name is Irene. I'm gonna be your waiter today. So, what would you guys like for today? Yeah, me and my girlfriend would have the special, please. Rico, can you not? Of course. We love to see lovebirds in the restaurant nowadays. Your food will be right up in a moment. How about any drinks? Chanel, keep your guard up. Don't let him get inside your head. For my drink, I'll just have a water. Yeah, actually, same thing for me. I'll just get a water. Okay, great. Everything will be out very soon. What if I refuse to play your game? Then I'll release the information and watch your world crumble. But I don't want that. Why don't you just ask for a truce? This rivalry between you and Julian, it's too much. Because I don't trust Julian. He's blinded by ambition, and I need to secure my position. But you, you could be the key. And what if I don't want to be anyone's key? Then let's just enjoy the night. No threats, no games, just us. Chanel, don't let him charm you. Remember why you're there. Fine, then let's just talk. How did you find out about me? I stay off social media, and I don't really talk to people. So... How did you find out? Well, you know, everybody has their connections, and I have mine. But what about you? You never even met me before. So now that you're on a date with me, how do you feel? What are your first impressions of me? You're stubborn. Ouch, that almost stung. But that's all right. I like all my ladies a little bit feisty. But what about you? I heard you're in college. Why don't you just get out? I'm sure my brother is giving you a hefty amount of money. Why not just quit? Because when I graduate, I'll be the first one to graduate in my family. And that's important to me. Pretty and smart. I hope our children can have some of your genetics. Rico, can you just quit it? Uh, come on. Just having some harmless fun. That's all. All right now. Here's your food. Please go ahead and enjoy. The food was good, but... How about we take a little walk on the beach? I don't really want this night to end. And really, I just want to spend more time with you. Fine, this is your date. Remember, Chanel, this is still a dangerous scene. So stay on guard. I have security on standby, if anything. So what's next? A walk? I don't know. This is all so unexpected. Life is unexpected. That's what makes it exciting. Are you trying to charm me, Rico? Maybe I am, but I want you to know I'm not the monster Julian believes I am. Let's go take a walk. Just so you know, I know you're wired. What? How did you- Listen, you can't blame me. I'm just being careful. Smart move. But know this, I'm not your enemy. Then why did you threaten us? It's all business. It's a tactic, I need leverage. Let me show you my world. Oh, please. What do you have to offer? Honesty. And what does that look like for you? I grew up in this life, but I refuse to be defied by it. I want something real. And what if that something real isn't me? Then I'll still respect your choice. Good, because I'm not changing my mind. I'm with Julian, Rico, not you. This is just business. Hey, no hard feelings. I get it. But if you change your mind, then you know how to reach me. I need to go. Don't let fear dictate your choices, Chanel. Listen, Rico, you're not the monster Julian thinks you are, but this is too much. I won't push. Just know that I'm here. Goodbye, Rico. Chanel, you need to come back. All right, so what happened? What information do you have out of him? Julian, you heard the whole thing. He knew that I had a wire on, so he was careful with what he was saying. Everything you heard is what I know. I don't know anything else. He didn't say anything. Dang it. 
This is not good. I'm gonna have to come up with another plan. I mean, if this didn't work, then what will? Your brother is stubborn. I don't know what's gonna shake him. I don't know either, but I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Wait, what? Where's my car? It was right here. I know I parked it right here. Nice of you to show up, Rico. Didn't think you'd make it after that little business deal of yours. Cut the pleasantries, Julian. I gave you a chance to avoid this. You should consider that 500 million a generous offer. Generous? You call it generous, I call it extortion. And I'm not one to be threatened by my own blood. It's not personal, it's just business. You should understand that by now. Business. Is that what you call it? I didn't know you were in the bad habit of trying to scare your big brother. I didn't know you were so easy to rattle, big bro. Easy to rattle? You must be forgetting a little secret I stumbled upon. Oh yeah? And what are you talking about? Oh, as if you don't know. Starts with the letter B. What? You wouldn't dare, Julian. Oh, but I would. And I've got proof too. You think I'd let you walk away with my money without knowing the truth about your little secret? What do you want, Julian? You think you can just blackmail me? What I want is simple. I want you to back off. Stop the threats. And if I refuse, then I expose everything. You know, brother, we could run this city together instead of tearing each other apart. Together? You really think I'd trust you after this? Hey, you're my brother. We're family. Blood is thicker than water. Family? Is that what you call sending goons to threaten me? Let's start fresh. Just let me think about it. You've got 48 hours. After that, I'll go public. And I mean it. Don't try to tempt me. You won't take me down, Julian. Rico thinks he can just come in here and threaten me? He has no idea what I've got on him. If Rico wants to play dirty, I'll give him a reason to regret it. I need a favor. It's urgent. Hey, Tony, it's me. Is everything ready? Sure thing, boss. You really think he cares that much about Chanel? He does. That's his weakness. Let's make this personal. It's time to show Julian just how far we're willing to go. Ugh, when is this class over? Now that I think about it, I haven't really talked to Julian in a minute. I wonder how he's doing and if everything is okay with his brother. Ugh, I gotta stop worrying about that and just focus on my class. All right, Tony, are you in position? Sure am, boss. The car is ready. All right, listen up. We're gonna grab Chanel. Use her as leverage against Julian. He'll have no choice but to pay us that 500 million. And you think he'll just roll over? This could get messy, Rico. Let's move. We need to act fast before he can get his defenses up. No, I won't let him do this. I know he's desperate, especially now that I know his little secret. But we need to be prepared for anything. All right, so what's the situation, boss? Rico threatened to hurt Chanel. He thinks he can kidnap her and use her against me. Whoa, we can't let that happen. We need to bolster security around her. I won't just sit back and let him play his games. If he thinks he can threaten me, he's dead wrong. All right, boss, what's the plan? We need to turn the tables. If Rico wants to play dirty, we'll expose his secrets. I'll threaten to reveal everything. You know what? Boss, that might just rattle him. This is going to be easy. Julian won't know what hit him. Oh, speaking of Julian. You think you're clever, Rico? Kidnapping Chanel? 
That's a bold move. Ah, uh, just business, brother. You know how it is. If you hurt her, I swear, I'll expose your secret. The whole city will know what you've been hiding. You think that will scare me? I'll expose your company's secrets, Julian. Your empire isn't as untouchable as you believe. This isn't a game, Rico. You're playing with fire. Fire? Remember, I'm the one holding the matches. Make your move, Julian. All right, let's do this. All right, Dylan, we need to act fast. Rico thinks he can outmaneuver me, but he doesn't know what I'm capable of. Let's tighten security around Chanel. We need to protect her at all costs and prepare our counterattack. Rico wants a war? Then let's give him one he'll never forget. Ugh, oh, finally, class is over. Wait, how did it get so dark so quick? And it's raining outside? Ugh, oh, this is not a good day to not bring an umbrella. It's fine, I'll just run to my car and just go straight home. Ugh, oh, I'm getting soaked. I really should have brought an umbrella. Wait, what? Where's my car? It was right here. I know, I parked it right here. Where, where am I? What, what's going on? What is this? What the? Who are you? What's going on? Why am I in an abandoned hospital? Nice to see you finally woke up. And what, you can't recognize my voice? Your voice, what? Wait, Rico? Bingo. Yeah, my bad, I had to knock you out over there. Rico, what is going on? Why did you take me here? Well, you see, your little boyfriend, Julian, he knows a secret that I've been hiding for some time now. And he threatened to actually tell the whole city about it. So I had to use you, use you as leverage. I can't let that happen. I can't let my deep secret be exposed. Once Julian finds out where I'm at, he's coming after you. And I know he's gonna come soon. Uh, you don't have to worry about all that. As long as you don't try anything, I won't hurt you. Deal? But come on, Chanel. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Dang it. I'm gonna have to call Dylan. What's going on, boss? Chanel isn't picking up the phone. So nine times out of ten, Rico already has her. What? Oh man, this is bad news. I know. Stand by for my order. I'm pretty sure I know where he has her. Make sure to bring the whole crew. We need everybody on this. I'll send over the location. Meet me there in five. I won't let him get away with this. I knew it. This is the car his crew uses for operations like this. If he's here, that means Chanel is here too. I have to save her. You know, I'm sure it won't be long until Julian actually comes in here, but uh, until then, how about we have some fun? What are you talking about? You know, I'm curious. What do you see in Julian? I can't help but notice that when we were on our date the other day, there was definitely chemistry. Rico, that was only you. I do not feel the same way. I don't know. Your eyes were telling me something different. How about this? Drop Julian and run away with me. Are you literally insane? I would never do that. Oh, you wouldn't? But look where that's gotten you. He can't even protect you from getting snatched up. I would never let that happen to you. Rico, you're talking crazy. Julian is coming in here any moment now. Really? Well, let's see how long that moment takes. Chanel, where are you? Julian, I'm over here. Oh my gosh, Chanel. Julian, I didn't think I would ever see you again. I was so scared. What happened to your eye, Chanel? It was Rico. He, he knocked me out. Hey, I had to do what I had to do. You little. All right, maybe I deserve that. Now that you've done this, Rico, I don't know how I'll be able to forgive you. Oh, come on. I was just having a little fun. But let's be honest. You wouldn't dare to even tell the city about my secret. Oh, your secret? Well, when I tell the city, you'll wish I never did. Well, actually, now that I think about it, what is my secret? Since you're so confident. Rico, your secret is... Wait, I don't want her to hear it. I don't need anybody knowing about this. Whatever, Rico. I don't even have time to talk to you. Come on, Chanel, we're going home. You just made things personal, Rico. 
This isn't over yet. Dylan, we're back. Oh my gosh, Chanel. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I, I think so. I think I'm okay. She's a bit too frail to speak right now, Dylan. But make sure security is tightening around the area. She's gonna spend the night here. I have to watch over her and make sure that nothing happens to her tonight. After everything else that happened, I need to keep her on our watch. Right away, boss. I'm on it. Chanel, I'm sorry for everything that happened tonight. I told you that I would protect you, but I wasn't able to tonight. Can you ever forgive me? Julian, it's not your fault. We both weren't expecting this. No, I should have known that Rico would pull some dumb move like this. And now he just made it personal. I can't let him get away with this. Julian, I understand your frustration, but this war between your brother is causing a lot of damage. Now it's starting to affect people outside of just the two of you. This has to stop. I understand what you're saying, and you're totally right. I think tonight was such an eye-opener. I'll try my best to end things with him, but it's not gonna be easy, especially after tonight. I know it won't be easy, but it has to be done. I don't want either of us to get hurt. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, are you cold? Ugh, it must have been all that rain tonight. Here, there should be a change of clothes in the bathroom. Go ahead, freshen up, and I'll wait for you out here. Yeah, okay. I think I'll go ahead and do that. I can't even comprehend what happened tonight. Everything just happened so fast. One minute, I'm in class, just trying to get my work done. And then the next, I'm waking up in a hospital. Everything just happened so fast. I'm just glad that Julian was there to at least just bring me back home. And I know he feels really bad about what happened tonight. He keeps beating himself up about it. He thinks it's just his fault. And I completely understand. But this war between his brother has to stop. There's no way this can continue without anybody else getting hurt. I don't know what he's gonna do, but something has to change. Okay, let me just try to do my hair. Oh my gosh, I forgot how big my hair was. I know I always put it straight, but sometimes I forget how big my hair can get. Anyways, I think I'm done with getting ready. I'm ready for bed, I'm so tired. Whoa, Chanel, your hair. Yeah, I know, I usually wear my hair straight, but my hair is just naturally this curly. I think it's beautiful. You should wear it out more often. Oh, really? Um, thanks. But honestly, I am gonna need a bonnet, so um, do you have one? Actually, I have a couple. You can go in my closet and check in the drawer. It should be in there. Okay, yeah, I'll just go ahead and check. Okay, this is a bit better. Now I'm ready to go to bed. Chanel, how are you feeling? I know tonight must have been so stressful. Yeah, it was. I mean, I don't know. I was just so scared. I didn't know what to do. I've never, ever had that before. And I never want that to happen to me ever again. Yeah, I don't want that for you either, princess. But come to bed, get some rest. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm just gonna go ahead and get some rest. I don't even know if I can really go to bed after a night like this. Okay, I'll just try. It's already the next morning. Let me go ahead and check on Chanel. She's still sleeping. That's good. I don't want to wake her up, so I'm gonna let her keep resting. As for me, there's still some business I have to handle, especially with Rico. Hey, what's up, boss? Listen, Dylan, what's the information do you have on the security last night? Anything suspicious? Well, boss, the security was tightened around the area last night, and as far as Rico and his gang, it seemed like they actually left the city. Whatever information you have on Rico, that was enough for him to bail. Really? He just left like that? I don't believe it. I'm gonna have to meet up with him to know for sure. Set up a meeting with him later on today. It's time to finally put this war to rest. Right away, boss.
Nice to see you've made the effort to play nice, brother. Cut the games, Rico. We both know why we're here. Well, yeah, you're right. We need to talk about this war. It's tearing our empires apart. I want to end this, but we need to be honest. Honest from you? <laughs> yeah, this should be good. We both know that I know about your secret. Ah, right. So what secret in particular are you talking about? I know you have a baby, Rico, and I know you've been keeping that baby a secret for a while. And if you don't want the city to find out, we need to figure this out now. Julian, you wouldn't dare. Why wouldn't I? This isn't just a threat, Rico. This is your life on the line. How? How did you know about my baby, Julian? I have my resources. You think I wouldn't keep tabs on you? You're not as discreet as you think. You have no idea what you're playing with. That child is innocent. Then you understand what's at stake. If this war continues, it won't just hurt you. It'll hurt everyone connected to us. Ugh, you think I wanted this? I didn't plan to have a kid in this mess. Then let's stop the fighting. We can find a way to coexist for your child's sake. Oh, so you really think we can just shake hands and forget the past? Not forget, but move forward together. And what's to stop you from exposing me anyway? Because I care about family, Rico. Despite everything, I want you to be a part of this. But it has to be under different terms. All right, I'm listening. Let's come up with a plan. Together, we can take down the real threats to our family and keep your child safe. Fine, for the kid's sake then. Man, it's getting really late. I know Julian went to meet up with Rico to talk about everything, but he hasn't really told me anything else. I just hope the meeting is going good. Chanel, I'm back. Julian, I was starting to get worried. How did the meeting go? Did everything go okay? Yeah, I think everything went pretty well. We both came to an agreement to just stop this war. I think after last night, we both realized that we don't want any of our loved ones getting hurt. Yeah, you're totally right. I'm just happy you guys finally came to an agreement. So does this mean that the war is over? Yes, princess, the war is over. It has to be perfect. I don't need any mishaps with this. What's got you so deep in thought? Planning your next business takeover? Nah, I'm planning a getaway. Chanel and I need it. This week has been a nightmare. A getaway? For you and the lovely Chanel? Yeah, man. I'm thinking Paris. I want it to be special. Just the two of us, you know? Paris? That's pretty bold. What's the plan? Dinner at one of the best restaurants in Paris, then a sunset cruise on the Seine. I want to take her to Louvre too. She loves art. Dang, that sounds like a scene straight out of a movie. But what about security? I'll have a discreet detail. This is about us, not the business. <laughs> well, would you look at that? You're getting soft, Julian. But I get it, you need this. After everything, Dealing with the family, the rivalries, the stress. I just want to focus on her. Good call. You deserve a break. And so does she. Imagine her face when she sees it. I can't wait to show her everything. You're whipped, man. But in the best way. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Just help me figure out some other details for the trip. I want it to be unforgettable. You got it. I'll pull up some of the best spots. Just remember to keep it romantic. No business talk. <laughs> Trust me, that's the last thing I want to do. Oh, and speaking of Chanel, what'd she say? Just asking about dinner. She has no idea what I'm planning. Keep it that way. Let her be surprised. This is gonna be perfect. I wonder what time he's coming. Julian said that he has something important to tell me, but... I'm really not sure what it could be. Oh, that must be him. Okay. Give me a minute, I'm coming. Hey, Julian, come on in. So, long day? Well, it just got a whole lot better. Oh, really? And how's that? I actually have a surprise for you. A surprise? Oh my gosh, you know how much I hate surprises. Yeah, but not this one. 
trust me is good all right okay i'm listening well the surprise is we're going on a trip wait a trip where that's the catch you're not supposed to know julian you can't just drop that on me what of course i can and i will think of it as a chance to escape from all the craziness just you and me you really think we need it after everything we've been through yes we need to just have some fun you know all right i'm in but you have to give me at least one hint okay okay one hint think of romance culture and croissants <gasps> wait are we going to paris hey you guessed it i can't believe it paris yeah so pack your bags because we leave tomorrow morning oh i'm so excited this is perfect and i want to see you enjoy every moment you hear me princess julian you always know how to make me feel so special you are special chanel more than you know i can't wait me neither princess we have arrived at your private section for your private jets it was a pleasure driving you we appreciate it a whole lot we're finally here in paris oh, julian I know we've been here before, but this place is seriously incredible. Yeah, I thought you would like it. I can't believe we're really in Paris again. This is a dream. It's just so hard to believe we're really here again. And it's only just begun. Oh, what are we doing first? Dinner is actually reserved at one of the best restaurants here in Paris. Oh, I'm so excited. I could already feel myself getting better. That's absolutely perfect, princess. Just perfect. Oh, this is so sweet of Julian to take me to Paris again. To be fair, it has been such a hectic week. We both need this. Dealing with his brother, this whole rivalry, oh, it has been just too much. But now that we're both here together, we could just focus on ourselves. And that's really what I want from Julian. I noticed that every single day, my feelings have just been growing more and more strong for Julian. Spending little moments with him has just been so refreshing. I think I can confidently say that I'm really starting to love him. But I don't know. I don't know if Julian actually feels this strongly about me too. So I don't know if I'm even gonna tell him. I just wanna focus on this trip with him. Okay, now the big question is, what should I wear? He said that it's like one of the top restaurants here in Paris. So I'm thinking maybe something formal? Yeah, okay, something formal for sure. Let's see what I can get though. Okay, hopefully this is good enough for the restaurant. I don't know. Oh, I hope Julian is already dressed too. Chanel. You look stunning. Oh, thanks, Julian. Should we head out for our dinner? Yeah, let's get going. Julian, this place is beautiful. How did you find out about this place? One of my buddies is an old time chef, so he recommended this place here in Paris. And every place that he recommends is great. Wow, that's great. But hey, you look a little serious. What's on your mind? Well, I've been thinking a lot about this trip and what it means for us. What do you mean? Paris is a city of love, and everything we've been through, I want to take the next step with you. Next step? I want to propose to you, Chanel. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Julian, are you serious? Absolutely. I know we've had our challenges, but you make me happier than I've ever been. I, I can't believe this is happening. Chanel, will you marry me? You look like a man who just conquered Paris. More like a man who just proposed to the love of his life. Wait, so you really did it? How did she take it? Like a champ. I mean, who wouldn't want a diamond ring and a lifetime with me? Well, you are one of the youngest mafia bosses in the city. The proposal must have been a power move. It was romantic, actually. A quiet dinner at one of the best restaurants in Paris and the Eiffel Tower lit up in the background. Cliche, but it was perfect. Did you get any pushback from the family? You know how they feel about mixing business and feelings. They'll just have to deal with it. 
Chanel is not just some trophy. She's smart, ambitious, and she knows how to handle the heat. Well, that is true. We've seen her in action. Just make sure she knows what she's signing up for. This life isn't all glamour, you know? I know, but I can't keep her in the dark. I want her by my side, fully aware of everything. All right, man, I'm just saying, you know the kind of people we deal with. They won't take kindly to distractions. You don't have to worry about that. I'll do whatever it takes to keep her safe. She's my priority now. All right, man, you know what you're talking about. Just remember, the world doesn't stop spinning for love. We've got business to handle. Let's just say business and love can coexist, and I'm ready to prove it. Hey, you got guts, boss. Just don't let those guts lead you into trouble. No trouble, just love. Oh yeah, and before I forget, we have a meeting with a potential business partner, Victor Rossi. He's looking to expand his operations into our territory. Rossi, huh? He's ambitious. What's his angle? He wants a piece of our logistics operation. Says he can streamline it for a cut. And what, do you trust him? Trust is a pretty strong word for our world, but I think he's genuine. Just needs to know the rules of our engagement. Then let's make it clear. If he's coming into our territory, he plays by our rules. Agreed, we'll set the tone. And speaking of tones, you might want to think about how this will play with the family. Let them talk. I'm not just some playboy anymore. I've got a vision and a fiance. A fiance who needs to understand the business too. I know, I'll bring her in on the meetings when the time's right. She's smart. All right, man, it's all you. But the meeting's in 30. You ready? <laughs> Always ready. Let's show Victor what it means to partner with us. Let's make sure he knows we're not just playing games. Games? This isn't a game, Dylan, but this is business and love. And I'm winning at both. Good to hear, man. Let's get into it then. Okay, he should be coming in any minute now. Well, 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 Julian. It's really been a minute. Victoria, I was expecting Ross. What are you doing here? Oh, now, now. There's no need to get so feisty. I'm his assistant. So instead of him, he asked me to come here and talk to you. I see you've been making headlines recently. Engagement in Paris? How romantic. What do you want, Victoria? Oh, can't I just check on an old flame? We had something special, remember? We had a past, yes, but that's all it is. I'm with Chanel now. But I can't help but wonder, but was it really love or just a distraction? We had passion, Julian, you know that. Chanel is different. She's genuine and she believes in me. What we had was complicated. Complicated can be exciting. You and I, we could reignite that fire. You know we could be unstoppable together. I'm not interested, Victoria. I moved on. You should too. You think Chanel can keep up with you? This life? You need someone who understands the game. Chanel is smarter than you think. She knows what she's signing up for, and she can handle it. Oh, come on, Julian. Remember those late night talks? The way we planned our empire? That was a different time, and a different us. I've built my future with Chanel in mind. You're making a mistake, Julian. We were meant to be together. You just need to remember how it felt. What I feel now is loyalty to Chanel. I won't betray that for a fleeting memory. Fine, but don't come back crawling when you realize what you're missing. Yeah, that won't happen. You need to accept this and move on. You'll regret this, Julian. You'll regret all of it. Okay, I definitely need some things for the house. I've been so busy with classes that I don't even have time to go grocery shopping anymore. And now that I'm engaged to Julian, I also have to think about planning our wedding. Oh, but I'm so happy. Oh, well, hello there. Um, hi. Uh, my apologies if this is rude, but do I know you? Oh, you may not know me, but... I sure know you. Um, is 
Excuse me? I'm not following here. Well, you're future Miss Mafia boss, right? I heard about your little engagement with Julian. Congratulations, I guess. Oh yeah, Julian and I are really happy together. I mean, you do understand what you're getting into, right? This life isn't a fairy tale. I'm aware of the challenges, but Julian and I are in this together. Oh, so you think that? You're just a kid in a big world. You really believe you won't come back to me? Go back to you? What are you talking about? Oh, you must really not know me. Well, I guess I'll just introduce myself then. Well, you see, I'm Victoria, Julian's ex. But let's be honest, I know him better than you ever will. I know how to get under his skin. You may know Julian's past, but I know his heart. And he's made his choice. Oh, we'll see about that. I'm just saying, don't let your guard down. I won't. I trust him and I won't let anyone come between us, not even you. Oh, good luck with that. Just remember, I'm not the only challenge that you'll face. I'll handle whatever comes my way. Thanks for the warning. Hey Dylan, let Rossi know that I won't be doing this arrangement anymore. After that little stunt he pulled with bringing his assistant to the meeting instead of coming himself? That was totally unprofessional and clearly he doesn't take this arrangement seriously. Let him know I won't be doing any business with him in the future. We're done. Julian, we need to talk. Of course, what's wrong? I ran into Victoria at the grocery store. What did she do? She was smug, acting like she still has a claim on you. It felt unsettling. Chanel, listen to me. Whatever I had with Victoria is over. You're the only one I want. I get that, but she's persistent. I'm telling you, Julian, if she ever comes near me again, it's going to be a problem. I won't let her. I promise. You're my future, and I'll do whatever it takes to protect that. I just don't want her interfering. I need to know you're serious about this. You have no idea how serious I am. I proposed to you in Paris because I see my whole life with you. And if she tries to come between us, then she'll regret it. I won't let anyone come between us, especially not her. I just need to know I can trust you completely. You can. I've burned bridges and she's one of them. You're the only one who matters to me now. Okay, just promise me you'll handle it if it comes to that. I won't hesitate to protect what we have. I wouldn't expect anything less. We're a team and I've always got your back. Always. Always. What? This can't be! This is not true! I know it's not true! I refuse to believe this! Julian's engaged now? To Chanel? Chanel, really? That little girl thinks she can just waltz into his life and take my place? I was the one who stood by him. I was the one who understood him when he was trying to build this empire. It should have been us! We had plans, dreams. I can't let this happen. I can't let her take him from me. You know what? I'll just call him. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just call him and give him a piece of my mind. Wait, no, I can't make it that easy for him. I need to remind him of what we had, what he's throwing away. I'll just create a little chaos, something to shake him up. Oh, Mia's calling. Perfect. Hey, Mia. Hey, I thought you could use some company. You have no idea. You won't believe what just happened. What's going on? Julian is engaged to Chanel. Whoa, I did not see that coming. I mean, who does she think she is? She's a kid. Julian and I were supposed to be engaged. What are you gonna do about it? I'm going to make him remember why he fell in love with me. I'll show him that Chanel can't handle this life. Victoria, are you sure about this? You're sure this is a good idea? Well, yeah, I can't just let him go. I won't lose to him to someone who doesn't even understand the game. Okay, but how do you plan to do this? I'll just stage a little crisis, something that will force Julian to come to me. I'll make sure it looks real and dangerous. 
And what if he doesn't respond the way you want? Oh, he will. He always does. All right, well, I hope you think this through. But I gotta go now, so I'll talk to you later. We had so many plans. So many dreams. I was his partner in every sense. I won't let him forget. I'll make it so he has no choice but to come back to me. Mia might think it's messy, but messy is what I do best. Yeah, I'm here in front of the building now. It seems like a pretty good place to have all the operations. Yeah, it seems like everything is good right now. Wait, hold up. I think I'm getting another call. Who the heck is this? I don't even think I know this number. Uh, hello? Julian, it's me, Victoria. Victoria? What do you want? Julian, you have to help me. Help you? After everything you've put me through? I know. I know things have been just completely complicated between us, but this is serious. My boss, Rossi, he's found out that I know some things about the company. He's threatening me, Julian. He's going to hurt me and my family. What do you mean threatening? What did he say? Julian, he knows where I live. I had to run. I can't go back home. I don't know what to do. You're the only one who can protect me. Why should I care? You made your choices. Because I'm scared, Julian. I'm scared for my life. You know how these people are. You're in this world too. You know how to handle it. What do you want me to do? Please, just come and get me. I can't stay here. I need to get away from him. From all of it. Please, I'm begging you. All right, tell me where you're at. I'm at the bus station in downtown. Please, hurry. Oh, dang it. He really fell for it. In no time, he'll be back to being mine. Just like how it's meant to be. Especially not after what I have planned for tonight. At this point, I should be the one with the diamond ring. Julian, you made it. I didn't think that you'd actually come. Yeah, I shouldn't have. I'm really scared, Julian. Rossi isn't someone you can't just ignore. He's dangerous. I don't know who else to turn to. I know we had our issues, but I need you now. You should have thought about that before. I have someone else now. I know, Chanel, you're engaged. Yeah, I am. But that doesn't mean I'm just going to leave you to Rossi. I never stopped caring about you, Julian. I know you moved on, but can't you just help me this once? <sighs> okay, fine. I'll help you. But you stay with me until this is all sorted. No games, no drama. Of course, whatever you say. Whatever. Let's just get this over with. Okay, I better freshen up on all of these topics for tomorrow's quiz. Being in college is so hard, but I have to graduate. But you know what? Now that I actually think about it, I haven't heard from Julian almost all day. I wonder if everything's all right. Okay, I'll just call him and see if everything's okay. Okay, hopefully he picks up. I hope he's not too busy. All right, listen up. You can just stay here until the situation dies down, but no funny business. Of course, I won't do anything like that. And if you want, you can hang up your coat because it probably got really wet from the rain. Oh, trust me, Julian. I was planning on taking off my coat anyway. So, Julian, do you like what you see? What? Victoria, what are you doing? I thought you needed help away from your boss. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, about that, my boss actually never threatened me. I just needed to be in the same room as you. Wait, so you lied to me? Only because I just wanted you to see what you're missing out on. That Chanel girl, she has nothing on me and what we had. We have so much history, Julian. We can get back together, like how it's meant to be. Victoria, this is unacceptable. Oh man, Chanel's calling. This is really not a good time, but I gotta pick up. She's gonna be suspicious if I don't. Uh, hey Chanel. I haven't heard from you all day. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, just a bit busy. You know how it is. Um, hello? I'm getting bored over here, Julian. Wait, what the? Julian, did I just hear a woman's voice in the background? No, no, you didn't. Julian, who is there with you? Tell me the truth now. Chanel, it's, it's not what you think. You know what? 
I'm coming over. I need to figure out what's going on. It's a good thing Julian gave me some house keys after our engagement. Victoria, you need to leave now. I think Chanel is on her way, and I don't want her getting any weird ideas. Oh, come on, Julian. I know you still want me. No, Victoria, you got it all wrong. Julian, just think about it. Chanel isn't built for this life. I know all the ins and outs of this world. You know you can trust me. Trust you? Absolutely not. Especially after this little stunt you pulled tonight. Don't worry. I know exactly what to do to make you feel better. Victoria, no. Julian, what the heck is this? Chanel, it's not what you think. Not what I think? What could I possibly be thinking if I see you and your crazy ex in a room together? Really, it's not what it looks like. Oh, hey, Chanel. Didn't think you would come. You son of a- Chanel, I- It's really not what you think. Julian, I saw you, okay? Stop with the lies. You were gonna kiss her. Chanel, it's not like that. I was lied to. She told me about this whole story about her boss threatening her. And she just called me for help. And you fell for it? How dumb can you be? After everything I told you about the grocery store, her plans, everything. I told you she wanted to get back with you. And you did this? Chanel, I don't know what I was thinking. Can you ever forgive me? I don't even know if I want to be in the same room as you right now. If this gank is who you want to be with, then fine, be with her. But do not put me in the middle of this. This is not what I asked for when you proposed to me. Chanel, what do I do for you to forgive me? Oh, I don't know. Maybe not be in a room with your crazy ex? Julian, I gotta go. I can't be in this house anymore. I can't even believe this. I can't believe Julian would do this. After everything we've been through, he wants to pull off this? Even if she is lying about that whole boss story, he could have never even brought her to his house. Everything is just so confusing now. I don't know what to believe. I should have never gotten too attached to him. I knew it. He said that he could protect me, but he can't even protect my heart. Can I really trust him? Can I even really call him my fiance? Come on, Chanel, pick up the phone. She's been deliberately ignoring my calls all morning. I tried texting her, but it doesn't even make a difference. I mean, yeah, I understand that she probably needs some time to herself, especially after what happened last night. I didn't mean for any of that to happen. Victoria lied about everything, but I can't blame her. It's partially my fault, too. I must have sent Chanel a thousand messages just apologizing to her, but I don't know. I think she still needs some time. Man, I don't even know what to do anymore. This whole situation got my head spinning. We just got engaged, and I'm already messing things up. I have to do better. Maybe I should just call her again. Maybe she'll pick up this time. Come on, Chanel, pick up the phone. Ugh, Julian has been calling me all morning. And yeah, sure, I seen his text, but I just need more time for myself. After last night, I couldn't even go to bed properly. I've only had like two hours of sleep, and I just couldn't stop thinking about what happened last night. I mean, seriously, what was he thinking? Bringing his ex-girlfriend to his house? and being in a room together alone? I already warned him about her, and he just didn't listen. He didn't care. And sure, I may feel a little bad for not replying to his messages or picking up his calls, but I need to think about myself in this situation. I mean, what am I gonna do? What's even gonna happen next? I don't know what to do. Julian just betrayed my trust. After the warning and everything, he still decided to go ahead and do that. If he fell for this little trick that his ex did on him, then what else can he really fall for? Things are just getting so complicated. I don't know what to do. I have so much to think about. I can't believe this. She actually, she actually punched me? 
All I remember is waking up from the floor with my head throbbing. But I do hope after last night, Julian does understand what he's missing. But it was so <laughs> funny seeing Chanel's face when she bust through the door. I would pay millions to see that face again. But I really have to think, what does she even have on me? What does Julian even see in her? How could he? That gold digging airhead thinks he could just take what's mine? Was last night not enough for her to know that Julian would always be mine? So what? Does that 20 year old girl think that she's better than me? I need to come up with another plan. I need to set Chanel straight. Some way, I need to scare Chanel. I need to scare her away from Julian. You know what? I think I have a perfect plan. I'll just make sure to keep tabs on her. And whatever she does, I'll be there. Okay, I think I'm all ready now. I think this camping trip is really gonna do me some good. I just want to get away from all of the drama. I don't want any distractions. I just want peace. I really need this time to myself. It's starting to get dark soon. I should head out now. All right, time to go camping. I just need to leave this place just for a day. Where the heck is she going? I need to follow her and see where she's going. Okay, I think I'm almost there. Yes, I finally made it. It's beautiful here. I should probably go ahead and set up my things, especially for dinner. I'm so hungry. I can't wait for this. I'm so hungry. Ooh, this looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. Wow. So she's really out here just camping? This is gonna be too easy. This is exactly what I needed. Just a little getaway away from all of the craziness. Well, well, well. Funny seeing you here again, Chanel. So we meet again. Victoria? How did you find me here? What are you doing here anyway? Oh, well, I should be asking you the same thing, Chanel. What are you doing here? Got too hurt about last night. Wanna go ahead and get away from all of it? Victoria, I just came here to clear my head. Leave. Oh, so you did wanna go away and get away from all of it. Well, let me give you some advice. Stay away from Julian. Victoria, it's clear ever since last night that you want him back, but it's not up to me if he wants you. Let me remind you, we are still engaged. You think I don't know that already? All I hear about is this stupid engagement. Julian belongs to me. He's mine, you hear me? He's mine. He's not yours, Victoria. Not anymore. You need to get out of your head. Was that punch last night not enough? Listen, Chanel, I'm gonna tell you this once and once only stay away from julian if you know what's good for you are you seriously threatening me right now and what if i am it's not like anyone's gonna come and save you dang chanel hasn't replied to any of my texts or picked up any of my calls i'm starting to get really worried about her i gotta call her at least one more time what the heck she's still not picking up this could be really bad I'm gonna have to check the tracking device I put in her phone. I knew I might need it one of these days, and I guess today is that day. Wait, am I looking at this right? Does it say that she's seriously in the middle of nowhere? That's it, I have to go find her. I am getting sick and tired of your plans and your little evil schemes. Victoria, this has to stop. Chanel, when are you gonna get it? I'm not stopping anything until I get Julian back. Is this seriously the right place? Chanel! Wait, Julian? What is with everybody being here? I just wanted some peace. Whoa, Victoria, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I could ask you the same thing. You come to sweep me off my feet? You know I didn't. I'm here for Chanel. Oh, Julian, when are you going to realize I'm the one for you. It has always been like this. Our relationship has always been complicated. But at the end, we still love each other. Victoria, you've caused enough damage. You're the only one who feels that way, not me. What are you really doing here, Victoria? 
Julian, Victoria followed me here. I think she was actually stalking me. Stalking? Victoria, are you out of your mind? And so what? So what if I am? I'm out of my mind for you, Julian. This has gotten way too far. Victoria, get lost and don't come near Chanel again. Or me. If you don't want your social life to get ruined and end, I suggest you never come back here again. Fine, I'll go. But this is not the last you'll see me, Julian. I will see you again. Chanel, are you okay? I've been worried sick about you all day. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm alright. Listen, about the other night, I feel really bad about what happened. But really, I know it wasn't entirely my fault. But still, that should have never happened. I really want to talk about it. Yeah, I do too. I think I've had enough time to think about the whole situation. Well, I know you probably don't feel too good about this situation. But if you're willing to give me another chance, I'd be more than happy. Julian, you have to understand. What happened the other night? It can't ever happen again. I am willing to forgive you, and I do want to give you a second chance. But if something like that happens again, I don't know if I can be with you. You don't ever have to worry about that. That's not gonna happen. From here on out, we're gonna be good. Okay, I believe you. Come on, let me take you home, just to watch over you. Yeah, I don't think I want to be alone tonight anyway. I can't believe it! Today is the day! I finally get to start planning for me and Julian's wedding today! It's been so hectic these past few weeks. Everything with the Mafia War, with Julian's crazy ex Victoria coming in out of the blue. It has honestly been such a long time coming. But the day's finally here! I get to start planning for our wedding! Everything has to be perfect. Wait, but who's even gonna come to the wedding? In the beginning of me and Julian's relationship, he made me sign an NDA talking about how I shouldn't tell anyone about our relationship. So I haven't really told anybody. But as of lately, he's been a little bit more lenient and he's been telling me that I can actually tell only one other person. And the one other person I've decided to tell is my best friend Savannah. We have been friends for so long, so I had to be the one to tell her. She was honestly really confused when I told her about it, but nevertheless she was so happy when she found out that I was engaged. I can't believe how far me and Julian's relationship has gone. It first started out as me just needing a job just to pay off all of my college classes, and then and turn into something more, something real. And sure, our relationship has had a rocky start and a few rocky situations too. But what relationship hasn't had those? I should probably start heading downstairs into the office to get some venues in order. I have to figure out flowers, venue, everything. Okay, let's go ahead and start planning. Oh man, this is actually a bit harder than I thought. Where do I even start? Do I start with the flowers, the venue, maybe the chef? Um, I mean, I've never planned out a wedding before. What if it doesn't come out right? I mean, I want both me and Julian to love it. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Okay, no, I just have to snap out of it. This is for me and Julian. We're gonna be married, finally. I just have to focus on both of our needs. Okay. Oh, an engagement, you say? I didn't know he would actually pop the question. This should be interesting. It seems like I may have to pay somebody a visit. Ugh, I so need a break from planning the wedding. Maybe I should go out. Maybe to the cafe? Yeah, that would probably do me some good. I haven't went outside on my own for a minute and just really hang out. Okay, what should I wear? Okay, this looks Perfect. I'm ready to go now. Hi, yes. Can I please have a caramel ice latte, please? And I think that'll be it for me. Thanks. Ugh, finally. Just a nice day outside. I don't need anything ruining my day. Hey, Chanel. 
Whoa, Rico? What are you doing here? Uh, nothing really. I just heard about your engagement with Julian. Congrats. Um, thanks, I, I guess, but why would you even try to show your face back in the city? You know Julian will not be happy about this, especially after the Mafia War. Oh well, trust me, he doesn't have to know. What do you mean he doesn't have to know? What are you planning, Rico? Oh, trust me, I'm not trying to cause any problems. But I just have to let you know, Chanel. I've been thinking about you a lot. Thinking about me? What are you even talking about? I can't stop thinking about that date we had. You know, the one that happened not too long ago. Rico, that was our one and only date. And that was strictly business, okay? You know that that was a business arrangement, nothing more. Oh, nothing more? But I have to say, I felt a real connection with you. And I think you feel it too. Okay, Rico, you're really starting to talk crazy now. Me feeling a connection with you? You know I'm with Julian and I told you that I'm not interested in you. Oh, come on, Chanel. You could stop denying it. We both know how we truly feel about each other. No, Rico, you only feel that way. Only you. I already told you, Julian has my heart. And now that we're getting married, there's nothing anybody can do to try to separate that. But what if I told you I can give you a life full of comfort and safety? Well, I do feel comfortable with Julian and he does keep me safe. Wasn't he the one that allowed you to get kidnapped? Rico, he didn't allow me to get kidnapped, okay? At the end of the day, he saved me. And he actually saved me from you. So what are you talking about? Listen, all of that is in the past now. If you were mine, I wouldn't let anything happen to you. You wouldn't let anything happen to me? Well, Rico, guess what? I am with Julian. And I love him, and he loves me. I don't know why you can't even comprehend that or accept that. And plus, don't you have a child to take care of? Stop worrying about me and Julian, okay? Just leave us alone. That's the thing, Chanel. I try to leave you alone. I try to stop thinking about you. But for some reason, I can't. Well, that really sounds like a you problem, Rico. I have a wedding to plan, so just give up, okay? And don't try to show your face before Julian finds out that you're back in the city. I'm over this. Well, actually, I have a better idea. Oh yeah? And what can that possibly be? How about you ditch Julian and marry me instead? Wait, what the heck? Are you seriously trying to propose to me right now? Right here? Knowing that I'm about to go ahead and marry your brother? What the heck is wrong with you? Hey, I'm just saying the option is there. But I won't rush you. I'll let you take your time. But you know where to reach me anytime you have your decision. What Rico said couldn't be true. It just couldn't. I can't believe he actually proposed to me right there in the middle of our conversation. He just couldn't be serious. I just know he wasn't serious, right? And Julian's out of town focusing on a business trip. So he has to focus on that. I don't even want to bring this to him right now. This is something that he doesn't have to worry about right now. Why would Rico even try to show his face back in the city? After everything? This just can't be real. This is not happening. I had to tell her. I had to tell her how I feel. I had to let her know before it was too late. That date with her, it was just so magical. Why me, Rico? Out of everybody you could have went on a date with, why me? Isn't it obvious? Because you're different. You have a fire that intrigues me. I know she feels the same way deep down. She just gotta stop denying it. The truth is, I never wanted to hurt Chanel. I never wanted to kidnap her. It just had to be done for business purposes. But really, I never even wanted to hurt her in the first place. I seriously really like Chanel. And Julian can't even give her what she needs. She needs safety. She needs protection. 
especially in this world that we live in. I'm surprised he's not doing a better job at it. Chanel needs to just open her eyes and realize that I'm the one for her, not Julian. finally rest after that two-week business trip i know what you mean you've been gone for quite a while but come on in and set your things down yeah i will as soon as i let chanel know that i'm back home where is she anyway is she here no she's not here yet but but she said that she is coming soon to see you though good it's been a while yes he's finally here julian is finally back home it's been so long since i've actually seen him He's been away for like two weeks. I mean, yeah, sure, it gave me enough time to just focus on the wedding planning, but I still just miss him so much. I do know one thing for sure though. There is no way I can tell Julian about what Rico told me and how he proposed to me. Our wedding is coming up soon. I don't need anything wrong happening. If I told him, that would just cause a whole bunch of problems that we don't need right now. I should be making my way to Julian's house now. He's probably waiting for me. Hey, Dylan. Chanel, long time no see. How you been? Ugh, just super busy, especially with all this planning for the wedding. It's been a crazy two weeks. Man, I can imagine. But everything is pretty much done for the wedding, right? Yeah, everything is pretty much done, which is perfect because it's right on time with Julian coming in. Speaking of Julian, where is he? Of course, boss is actually in his room. You can go ahead and see him. Awesome. Thanks, Dylan. Dang, where is she? I wonder if she's on her way. Or maybe I should text her. Hello? Julian! Chanel, you're here. Of course I am. I'm so happy to see you. How was your trip? It was hectic, but I missed you so much. But since I've been gone for so long, did anything happen? Uh, if anything happened... Not really, nah. Okay, great. So everything with the wedding went well? Everything is already planned? Yeah, everything is pretty much a go. I already FaceTimed you, some cakes that I was thinking of having over at the wedding, and you can come over if you wanna go ahead and try some too. No, it's okay. I trust your opinion. But you know what I was thinking? For like, the venue location? Sure, what were you thinking? I was actually thinking of having our wedding in Paris. Paris, huh? Yes, it's a perfect location. And plus, that's where you asked me to marry you. So it does have some meaning, you know? If you want the wedding in Paris, we can definitely make that happen. It's whatever you want. Really? Oh yes, I'm so excited. If anyone has just cause why these two should not be joined together, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Wait! Stop the wedding! Rico, what the heck are you doing here? I can't let this happen, Julian. I love her. Rico, what are you saying? I've loved you ever since we went on that date. This isn't right. Julian, I won't let you marry her. You think this is some kind of game? This isn't a game, Julian. It's about love. Gentlemen, please, uh, let's just calm down. You're crossing a line, Rico. And Chanel, you're making a mistake. Chanel deserves better and you know it. You little. No, please, wait. Guys, just stop fighting. I'm done, I can't do this anymore. Chanel, wait. You think you can just take her? You think she's happy? You don't know anything about her. I know she deserves someone who loves her without conditions. You really thought you could keep her from me? If you think this is over, you're making a huge mistake. Then I'll fight for her. How? How can this happen to me? Everything, all the plans. I've spent weeks trying to do this wedding. And it's a complete disaster. How did Rico even find out about the wedding? Here in Paris, we didn't tell anybody. 
this is crazy. It's getting too much. I've stayed up nights thinking about me and Julian's future and how it would look like. But after today, I don't know if we will ever have a future. Before I got into this relationship, I was just a college girl trying to pay off my classes, looking for a job. I knew that life was hard before, but this, this is just crazy. How can I love somebody who always just has danger following them? I don't know if I want that life. Everybody tried to warn me, everyone. Rico, Victoria, even my best friend, Savannah. What am I gonna do? I don't know what to do. I really can't believe what happened in Paris. That whole thing was so embarrassing. Not only was the day ruined, but Julian's brother Rico came out of nowhere and totally crashed the entire wedding. The wedding I took out so much time and effort for. It was completely ruined. I just don't know what to do anymore. This is just all so confusing. Of course, I still love Julian. But I don't know, this is just getting too much. On our way back home, we were completely silent. We didn't even say a word to each other. I honestly think that he's just as upset as I am about the wedding. We haven't really gotten a chance to even talk about what happened in Paris. But today he wanted to meet up to finally talk about it, so hopefully it goes well. Man, I haven't slept in days. After what happened in Paris, me and Chanel hasn't really talked. I'm actually really embarrassed about what happened. It should have never came down like that. But I was shocked. Rico came out of nowhere. He just went on and on about having feelings for Chanel. I couldn't help it. What was I supposed to do? Just stand there and do nothing? Why did he even think it was a good idea to come back to the city? You know what? I'm not even worried about that. I'm just worried about Chanel. I asked her if we could meet up here just so we could talk about what happened. I know she's really upset about it, but I hope we could patch things up. I really love her, but I'm hoping that what happened in Paris doesn't change the way she feels about me. And yeah, sure, I know the world that I'm in isn't the easiest or the best, especially for a girl like Chanel, but I already told her I'm willing to protect her and make sure that she's good at all costs. I really hope she knows that I meant that. I meant every single word. I'm really hoping she comes by so we could talk about everything that happened. I don't want to leave things on a bad note, especially with her. Oh, I think I hear her. It's time to see if she's ready to have this conversation. Hey, Chanel. Thanks for coming. Of course, I wanted to come. Come on in. All right, now, all you have to do is just go ahead and sign the documents. Really? That's it? That's all we have to do? Yep, that's all it takes to officially get married. So are you guys ready? More than ready. Let's do this. Okay, I'll just sign right here. Wow, I can't believe how easy it is. All I have to do is just sign. Okay, I'll sign it. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and put this through the process. It will take about one week to fully be developed. But, as of today guys, you guys are officially married. Listen, I told you to get the dinner reservation ready. I'm taking Chanel out on a date today, so it has to be perfect. Sure thing, boss. I'll send you the details later. Wow, I can't wait for tonight. It should be so special. It's been over five months since me and Julian got married, and it's been great ever since. We finally moved into our new house, and now I really feel like we are a married couple. We have had no mishaps 
or anything bad happened so far. Julian has really been keeping his promise with protecting me. And now that I'm in my last semester of college, I am so much more relaxed. But I hope Julian already has the dinner reservations because I'm almost ready. Hey, Julian. Oh, hey. So are you ready for the dinner? Yeah, I'm ready now. All right, let's head over there. We don't want to be late. I can't believe we're finally married. It feels like a dream. A beautiful dream, right? Absolutely. I never imagined I'd be living this life. It's all so perfect. Well, you deserve it. We've worked so hard to make our relationship work. And now we're here. So what's next for us? I mean, after the wedding and all. Well, I'd say more adventures, I hope. There's so much more to explore together. And Julian, how do you feel about kids? Kids? Huh. That's a pretty big topic. What's on your mind? Well, I was just wondering, you know, if we were to have kids, how many would you want? Well, honestly, I've never really thought about it. But if I were to think about it, and if we were to have children, I would say maybe two, a boy and a girl. Wait, really? That's exactly what I was thinking. It sounds perfect. I'd love to have a little family. Kids is something crazy to think about, but it feels right with you. Yeah, it really does feel right with you too. What kind of parents do you think would be? Well, I'd say protective for sure. I would want them to know that they're safe, you know? We would definitely create a home filled with laughter. I think that's important. Ooh, and maybe some adventure? Like spontaneous trips for the kids. Oh yeah, for sure. I can definitely see us taking them everywhere. Oh my gosh, imagine family road trips exploring new places together. Oh well, as long as they don't mind my music. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to work on that. But seriously, I really think about our future a lot, Julian. I do too. It's a pretty big step, but I'm ready for it. Do you think that we'd actually be good at it? Parenting, I mean. I'm sure we'd figure it out together. That's what partners do, right? Just figure out things as we go. Of course. Right. As long as we have each other, we can handle anything, Chanel. Of course, you're right. I just wanted to make sure that we're on the same page. I just want to build a life with you. And we will. We'll create the kind of family we always dreamed of. So, two kids it is? How about, let's just start with one and see how it goes. You got yourself a deal. Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, my stomach is hurting so much. Oh, my stomach is hurting so much. What is happening to me? I have to wake up Julian. Julian, you gotta wake up. I'm not feeling too well. Chanel, what's wrong? Julian, I... I just don't feel so well. Princess, what do you mean? Are you okay? No, I... I was sick in the bathroom. My stomach really hurts. Let me help you. What do you need? I honestly think I need to go to the hospital. I don't know what's wrong. All right, I'll call a car. Just go ahead and sit down, okay? Yeah, we need an urgent ride to the hospital. My wife isn't feeling so well. All right, the car's on its way. Just hang in there. Julian, what if it's something serious? Hey, don't think like that. We'll figure something out, okay? We'll figure out what's going on. I'm right here with you. You're right, I just, I just feel kind of scared. And you have every right to feel that way. But we'll get through this together. You're not alone. Okay, the car is here, we gotta go. Okay, let's go. It's okay, 
Just hang on, we're almost there. Excuse me, we need help. Of course, tell me, what's going on? You see, it's, it's my wife. She's not feeling very well. She's saying that her stomach is hurting a lot. Okay, so no need to panic. Just come follow me and I'll run some tests on her. You can stay with her the entire time. Yes, I would love that. Julian, what if something's really wrong? Then we'll deal with it. Whatever it is, we'll face it together. Yeah, you're right. I know you're probably feeling a little scared, but remember, you're strong. You've got this. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we ran the test on your wife, Chanel. And trust me, it's nothing too detrimental or anything like that. And it seems like she's actually experiencing some early symptoms of pregnancy. Wait, did you just say pregnancy? Sir, are you sure? Absolutely. Congratulations. You're pregnant. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Maybe I should just get something to eat. The maids aren't working today, and Julian's not even home yet. He's at a business meeting for a company, so I guess I gotta go get my own snacks. Ooh, what should I get? Aw oh, man, we ran out of ice cream. Ooh, but we do have some popcorn, my favorite. Oh, wait. What the heck? My belly is kind of feeling weird. Eh, it's probably nothing. Wait, no. My belly is feeling kind of weird. Oh, no, no, no. My water. It just broke. Oh, my gosh. Julian's not home. He's at a business meeting. Is he even going to pick up? Come on, Julian. Pick up the phone. I'm going into labor. Oh, no. He's not picking up the phone. What am I doing? What do I do? Okay, just, uh. I, I just can't panic. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. Um um maybe 911, but I don't know if they're even going to come in time. I already feel the baby coming. The one time nobody is home is the one time I'm having my baby. Oh my gosh, what do I do? I feel so scared. Okay, no. This is not the time for crying. I I have to get my baby out. I have to go now. I have to drive myself to the hospital. This is not how I imagined things going. I have to make sure that Julian's there. He has to be there. Okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm so scared. Help, help. I need help now. Ma'am, you called for help? Yes. My water broke. And I think I'm going into labor right now. And I don't know where my husband is at. I'm so scared. Please help. Okay, ma'am, just calm down. I'll get you situated very quickly. Just follow me. Okay, now tell me, what is your name? Um, my name is Ch Chanel. Okay, Chanel, so before we get into it, I really want you to go ahead and take a few deep breaths, okay? I really need you to relax. Okay, I'm trying, but I don't know where my husband is. He's supposed to be here, and he's not picking up his phone. It's okay, we're gonna go ahead and let him come down here very soon, but I really need you to go ahead and try to relax. I'm trying, I'm trying. Please, just call my husband, he's supposed to be here with me. Okay, Chanel, okay, we'll make sure that he's here. I will try to call him and get him down here, but until then, please, try to relax. Don't you worry, I'll be right back. Where the heck is Julian? He's supposed to be here with me. Why isn't he picking up his phone? Julian? Hey, Chanel. What's up? What's up? All you're going to tell me is what's up? Haven't you been getting my text messages? I'm in labor. I'm in the hospital right now. My water broke. I need you here now. Wait. You're having the baby now? Yes, that's what I've been trying to tell you. Now come down here now. Okay, I'll be right there. Wait, is that the car? Did she drive herself to the hospital? Oh no, this is not good. Don't worry, Chanel. I'm coming. Chanel, Chanel, where are you? Excuse me, doctor. Have you seen a pregnant lady named Chanel come in here? She's my wife. Oh, Chanel, yes. 
You must be her husband. She's right in this room. Follow me. She's right in here. Excuse me. Miss Chanel, your husband, he's here now. Wait, Julian? He's, he's actually here? Chanel, I'm here. Oh my gosh, Julian, you made it. Of course I did. I wouldn't be anywhere else. Okay, I think, I think I'm ready to have my baby now. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and send in the doctor for you, okay? Just hang on tight. Okay, please hurry. I feel my baby coming. It's okay, Chanel. I'm right here with you. All right now, I'll be right back in just a moment. Hang tight. I feel it. It's coming. It's coming now. It's okay, Chanel. Just keep pushing. You got this. Excuse me, sir. Are you Julian by any chance? Um, excuse me, don't you see my wife is in labor? What? Wait, what's going on? Why is the police here? Sir, you're gonna have to come with me. What? What are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere with you. Sir, you're gonna have to. You're being arrested for involvement of gang crime and mafia crime. Chanel, I'm sorry. I didn't think this would happen. No! My baby! Hello? Where? Where am I? Doctor? Hey, Chanel. Good to see you finally woke up. Wait, what? What happened? I... I don't know what's going on. Well, you see, you actually blacked out right before you gave birth to your baby girl. <gasps> my baby! I remember now. Oh my gosh. She's beautiful. Wait, but... But Julian... Oh my gosh, I remember... He got arrested. Yes, Chanel. Unfortunately, your husband, Julian, has been arrested. But the police did tell me that you can visit him in about one week. One week? By myself with a newborn? This is not how things are supposed to go. I needed my husband here with me. Yes, ma'am. I apologize. I wish I could bring you better news, but that's about all I have. But congratulations with your new baby girl. That's who you should be focusing on right now. She really needs you. Oh, my baby. It's okay, baby. We're home now. And your name, your name is Joanne. Hey, Julian, I got some news for you. What? What's going on? It seems like somebody decided to bail you. You're out of here. Wait, did you just say that somebody decided to bail me? Yeah. Now get out of here before I change my mind. I only know one person who can bail me out in a situation like this. I knew it. I knew it was you. Julian, oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see that you're okay. This is our baby girl. Her name is Joanne. Joanne, wow. Chanel, she's, she's beautiful. Yes, and now we can all be together now.